just not not just die, but he like he won't do like uh, any comedy shit anymore. Why? He doesn't want to. He's done. I don't blame him. He like expressly said he's like, nah, I don't fuck with that stuff no more. <laughs> I just, I just. You didn't have to do the. Do I just the stay, fucking impression. That's I just stayed to the house, and I'm like, fuck yeah, Beetlejuice. Okay, good for him. You he ever wants- seen his uh his like cribs kind of? Episode? No. Oh my god! It wasn't really cribs, but dude, it was it was pretty it sick. Was sick. Yeah, that's awesome. He's just like dry humping his bed and stuff. <laughs> oh fuck! Jumping I, on his trampoline. I love Yo, Beetlejuice. Close to him jumping on a trampoline. It's <laughs> fucking tight. Here. Your mic's here. You got yours uh, perfect. Sick. Do I have to like lean into it, or can I still sit like this? You can sit like that. You just got to project. A little. I can turn you up. Which one is that? That's four. Yeah, you'll probably be okay. Okay. Well, this is fun. Are we, is this it? It's rolling, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, to the to the viewers, uh, Dennis did not release his inner shell, and the smaller <laughs> a smaller version of him is not sitting there. He was not able to be with us today because he was busy. I think he got stuck on a treadmill or something. <laughs> but but luckily, Mikey Walsh is here to fill in. This is the Irrelevant and Illiterate Podcast, and today we're hanging out with Danny and Tyler from Stone Mill Pizza, right here. What's up, boys? What's up? Just, a, just a raucous bunch, these two. I haven't been able to shut them up since they got here. <laughs> Talking shit. That's what we do best. <sighs> nice. It's <laughs> <laughs> the quietest the shed has ever been. Ever, of all time. But we'll see. I didn't. I didn't want to move it because we've moved this episode twice already, mm. and I was like, "Nah, fuck it. We can make it work." I'll be Dennis. It's fine. Well, what's uh, what what ails you today? Well, at the moment, it's the fact that this chair has almost no padding in it anymore. <laughs> so that's that's I guess one of it. Uh, there is a smell lingering. Um, so I'm just gonna assume that's kind of. In this neighborhood, but... You mean aside from the kerosene in the air? From the yeah, heater? Yeah, beside that. <laughs> is, is that safe to be in here? Uh-huh. Sure. 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 Yeah. <laughs> what are you, with the FDA? It's, no, it's, I, I like living on the edge. So. It's it's specifically four rooms of this size. I did look it up. Because I wanted to make sure I wasn't fucking shit up. Hmm. So what's up, guys? Nothing much, dude. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just uh, admiring the snow outside. Oh, it's kind of shitty. Sad. I was snow skating on my uh, on my deck earlier. You no. have one? Yeah. Now, were you using just the deck with no trucks or like an actual snow like deck? It's like a legit one. It's got like the grooves underneath so you can actually... Oh, man. You know. You can like do flip tricks shit. with it? Tricks. Yeah, you can. I mean, I can do some. I'm not the best at flip tricks, but when I was... some stuff translates to it. From nice. Skateboard. You can't like push or anything. I'm sure you just like throw down and jump on it. You can push. If you've got enough traction on your choose you know luckily i've got like the mountain vans that have a little bit of uh, traction so it kind of works when i was like growing up and it would snow mm-hmm. we would like obviously just take the trucks off of our boards and <laughs> one of my favorite obstacles that we set up was my picnic table in my backyard at my old house we were just on top of two of them and would just throw down and like try to do like essentially like pressure flips off the end of it Mm -hmm. and almost never ever land them but it was like what else could we do besides sled or anything i feel like i should know this but have you like have you been skating this whole time and i just didn't know what do you mean this whole time well i mean like do you still do it into your adulthood not as often as i would like to i did buy a complete like a whole like entirely cost like I picked every piece of the complete and I wrote it one time. Yeah. So I felt real dumb about that. I, I tried it like everybody else did, uh, you know, when, when we were kids and I was like, okay, I'm bad at this and I get hurt too easily. So I don't <laughs> do this. And then I bought a deck again in the middle of the pandemic to be like, I'm like 27 ish years old. I could, Oof. I'm sure I can make this work. And I just, it's, it's now a, a cool thing that, um, stays in my closet all the time. Mine is right next to my laundry basket. Yeah. Like yeah. safely inside the bottom is not fucked up at all. Why? Like, <laughs> why I came over the house the other day and he put his uh, jacket away in the closet and he goes, "So which one of you pretends to skate?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! You're like, yo, that's me, bro. Yep. Yeah, no, well. I I skated 
most of most of my early life. <laughs> once I uh, once I got a car, that kind of went out the window, though. That's like for the best time to start skating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you can go to spots. Yeah, you can just leave no more skating whatever. that uh, picnic table in your backyard. Yeah, or like skate like five six miles into the city Mm -hmm. and then skate five six miles home at the end of the day but it was worth it where'd you grow up i'm from willow run originally where's that which is it like it neighbors it's ellesmere essentially how you get to wawa the quickest yes that's true yeah if you cut through yeah and you can get to like yeah you can get to a lot of stuff through willow run it's easy I got a good story about your neighborhood, pretty much. Oh, one, let's go. One time, I uh, this is when I first met my girlfriend. Um, we were hanging out for like five days straight, and we we're probably going like day six. I've been just holding my poop in for so long, trying to impress her. <laughs> <laughs> and trying to impress her with how long you've been holding poop in. She Naturally. She doesn't know I'm holding it in, but she thinks I'm God because I didn't go to the bathroom at all. Oh, okay. And I kept staying at her place, and then I had to fart real bad. I was oh, man. In, like, let them squeak out like when she came there. <laughs> so that morning, we go to get breakfast at Mary Country Kitchen. Hell yeah. That's a good spot. She was like, damn, you're barely eating. Are you not hungry? And I was like, <laughs> I'm at capacity. No, I'm, I think I'm going to eat this a little bit later. I'm going to just box it up. <laughs> and then as we're leaving uh, to go, she was like, you sure you don't want to just spend another day? And I was like, nah, I got things to do. <laughs> and she's like, all right, let me get a hug. She's like squeezing me a little bit. I was like, oh, fuck. Not too hard. I got to go. And so like, I just got in the car. It sounded like so brash. And then oh, I got in the car. Oh, I started fuck. driving away. And I'm like, dude, who can I call? I got to go. I can't like hold it. I'm going to shit my pants because I know I'm like free. And I can just like kind of ease off my stomach. So I'm driving and I'm almost to Willow Run because I was going to go meet up with our buddy Mike Danker to like first poop in his bathroom, then go skate. But I wasn't going to make it. So I got out and there's like this Jewish cemetery right next to Willow Run. Uh-huh. Oh, no. And Beth I, L. Yeah. Temple Beth L. Dude, I was They're about like, to take a Beth L. <laughs> take a fucking huge L. I was wearing my like <laughs> new Thrasher shirt. like, And this one, Thrasher shirts were just coming out. So they were fucking sick. Mm hmm. And I was like, only 15 I, bucks. I was like, I got to do. They're like 35 still. I basically no, I pull yeah. my pants down to the cemetery and just start taking a dump. And it's like a loud one. <laughs> oh. like farts, diarrhea. I think that technically qualifies as a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he, he, he got his 23 and me. He's a little Jewish. So it's fine. <laughs> oh, muzzle. Yeah. That's why like you could 2%. get in there. Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm in there, dude. I'm you a, showed the I'm card like, to get in. Yeah. I'm the chosen one. I didn't have to show yeah, shit. Yeah. I just think I feel my vibe. <laughs> You're like, uh, one of the chosen flock coming through to make a deposit. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. And so I had to take my fucking sick ass fast shirt off to wipe my ass, and then I put it on top of the pile. Oh, dude! And I go to stand up, and I'm just looking at a bunch of people like <laughs> at the cemetery that are like visiting someone or having a few. I don't know what they were doing. They're but they're burying grandma. It was like yeah. the worst. <laughs> It's like one of the worst days of their lives and yours yeah. at the same time for different Fast reasons. forward to today. Every year he goes back same day to his memorial. <laughs> People see him in the distance just mourning. <laughs> you make yeah. a post about it. Yeah. It's that shirt, dude. I miss it. I mean, it's $35 down the, sh- down the shitter. <laughs> yeah. For lack of a better word. A crappy day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I... That name sounds familiar. I, I always heard his name referenced, but I don't know where he lives or I never met that guy. But I I did grow up a street a uh, street behind Chipper. Yeah, yeah. We live in like the same like little little spot in that neighborhood. I just saw him today. I was trying to go skate and then it started fucking snowing. I almost was going to ask like did you guys go out today? I tried. I attempted. Of course you did. Yeah, we're going to we're skating tomorrow up in New York indoor place. No shit. So, uh, yeah, he knows. I, I can only skate once a week anymore. I'm just, I feel the... You feel it too much? Yeah, my age. Because you got to be, what, 30, what? 32. Yeah, we're the, we're the same so, age. It does hit differently, though. Yeah. Like, when you fall, it, it hurts a little more. Mm-hmm. It's weird. I didn't think it was true my whole life growing up, and now I am that old. And I'm like, no, it's certainly true. Because yeah. that day, when I got that board, I I got it at Kinetic and put it together in the shop and I pushed around the parking lot a little bit because my girlfriend was like, when's the last time you even skated? And I was like, I literally don't remember. And I like pushed around a little bit and I did a kick turn here and there. And I I hit one fucking rock 
and it arrests all movement but you keep going and i fucking i slammed like right next right next to my own car too and i was just like nah mm-hmm. i should just go home now yeah especially <laughs> when this. you're not expecting I it retire the, again. the slam is just more intense <laughs> oh, haven't you hit the quota for like how much you can fuck up your body in like a lifetime well what's a quota <laughs> what are we talking here fair enough i'm here to i'm here to push limits i suppose i can't i don't think i can be killed <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. I they haven't killed me yet. <laughs> it remains to be despite seen. not not to lack of trying either. Mm. I guess. Nice. What's your worst injury? <laughs> the time I died. <laughs> that that rock. That one's the worst one. <laughs> yeah the the ro- the rock in Twisted the in the parking lot was really bad. <laughs> now the injury injury. Probably the time I legitimately broke a wrist skating, mm. like like broke a bone, had a cast. That was mm-hmm. like the worst one, skate related, or just like bullshit, like twisted ankles and stuff. Yeah. Like, what have you guys done? I mean, you should see our ankles now after twenty years or whatever. They're just yeah. they're just gnarled. Yeah, they're just constantly the size of like a grapefruit. Yeah, Especially oh, his, his are disgusting. Bad. But yeah, mine are crazy. but my knees just jacked. Mine personally, I tore my ACL like twelve years ago. I hear that all the time that people fuck up their ACLs and their knees. Their knees, yeah. like knees and ACLs, are like the number one skate injury mm-hmm. that I hear about. Yeah, I mean, I I've skated since I was like ten. I think I was maybe eighteen at the time. So I'm surprised I lasted that long, not getting fucked up that bad. But it's uh, like I said, it's been like twelve years since, and I still feel it like on a regular basis i wear a knee brace every time i skate still Mm. and that's after surgery which probably made it worse it was surgery on your acl yeah so uh yeah it just it's still gets swollen it just doesn't ever feel like itself so i've kind of like adjusted my skating accordingly i don't really jump down big shit i still do like more technical stuff but that was my favorite thing to do though because i didn't have i had no tricks Mm -hmm. and i i could not do a trick off of a thing to save my life. I could only jump down shit or like front side 180. Oh yeah. That's just what like you needed to do if it was the, big enough, dude. The there easiest was a time thing. when just go big or go home. Dude, Didn't like, matter if your board left your, your feet. And just no. as long as you were jumping down something big. Stuntman. I was yeah. just looking for like, like we would find like big gaps and either me or my friend Jake would be the first ones to try it. But he, he was one of those kids who like, if he tried a trick for a day, he had it by the end of the day, no matter what it was. He's like, oh, today I feel like learning a switch inward heel flip. And meanwhile, I'm like, I still to this day or to that day could not heel flip. Mm-hmm. Or like I could, I could, I landed two 360 flips my whole life. Like that was the extent of my. You and me both. No. <laughs> right. Like the extent of my prowess, if you will. Yeah. Do you guys ever see, I don't know how, how good any of these are, but have you ever seen somebody get on a skateboard and you're like there's no way Always. you're better than me there's no way you're better than me and then they fucking are I or like s- they have the body type of somebody who looks like they're gonna fuck themselves up on a skateboard <laughs> yes. and instead they're like awesome and you're like what is like how did you do that why did you do that yes uh, to this day i still think like that and i haven't <laughs> fucking thrown a board down realistically in 15 years yeah 12 years or whatever yeah but like those videos of like there's a video of like a cop with boots on who like mm-hmm. let me see that and they throw the board down he lands a kickflip first try i'm like F- what the fuck is that what what i think the crazier thing is so we have some friends and even just people acquaintances skating who just look like they're gonna eat shit constantly as they're skating it's so fun to watch because you just you know you're like tightening you up every up. time they do a trick and somehow they pull it off and it's insane like terrifying yeah like our one buddy will like jump off roofs and He's like got these, you know, rubber band knees. I don't know. And just me personally with my knee situation, I look at him. I'm always You're jealous. Like, I'm like <laughs> insane, dude. I'll like pop off a curb the wrong way and it's just fucked for a week. Oh, God. You know, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> You're just like, oh, God, fuck. Yeah. Just like like playing in punk bands and stuff like that and meeting people. Everybody skated when they were younger because it's yeah. like punk and like skating. Or it's like this. It, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So it's like, I'll see somebody who I'm like, you couldn't fucking run around the block without getting a, <laughs> out like, of breath. Out of breath. And yet they're like totally fine on a skateboard. And I'm like, God damn it. How do you do that? Or they're the people doing like fucking karate katas like in the, in the pit. Yeah. 
like like spinning and, and like like spin kicking like crazy and you're like why are you not gassed right now yeah like Meanwhile, I what turned, the fuck i turned the wrong way too quickly the other day and it's like a fucking i'm on that injured reserve list or you week. like like say you, you you bend down to tie your shoes and you stand up too quick oh no it's, <laughs> and it's the like, blood is the, like i was gonna say the rush of blood to your head you're like wait a minute yeah were you uh were you guys the nut jobs in the pits all thrashing around and whatnot i was yeah. a long time ago we were just talking about that the other day just how insane that is. I hate the fucking pits, yeah. dude. I'll be fucking chilling on like the border, trying to mind my own business, and there's always a guy Stuff. who like knows you're just sitting trying there to trying to protect your, your girl, and he's like, I'm gonna smash these fools. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it, dude. I just like wanna just legit fight that dude. It is angering. Like, oh dude, come on, he's just getting down. I'm not a mosher. And, and especially not anymore. And there was a time where I w- it was like more into like dancing and like yeah. you know, fucking around, but I was never like a windmill dude. And and now that I'm shorter, I just want it like I want to get as close to the band as possible. Yeah, and mm-hmm. n- don't fucking touch me. I That's like my yeah. preference. I like hanging out with the soundboard. Oh really? Yeah, because it's like showing a bit of your height privilege now, there, Tom. Hey, hey, it has its ups and downs. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. sure. You know what I mean. <laughs> Oh good. I'm glad I'm glad that's up and running again. Oh yeah. I can't lose the soundboard. But the oh speaking of soundboards, yeah. I liked if you stand there, the like a room is tuned in such a way that the soundboard is the best sounding spot mm-hmm. in the room most of the time. That's a really good dad take. I mean No, it's true. I, I was at a concert recently, uh and I know the people in the band, so they let us sit right by the sound board station. In like the, the in is. like the crowd crowd? Yeah. And so. it just yeah, it just everything came to you like in the best possible way mm-hmm. what was the venue uh it was alt j you know them it's like a, i know the band yeah it's like a british like they're like alternative indie. kind of yeah. band where where was it though uh, i was at the man, man oh Center. that's amazing yeah so it was it was really nice the man is a is a pretty tough spot tough place to have, find a bad spot anyway mm-hmm. even being outside yeah but like i think the best venue in the country i think is union transfer oh okay. really yes wow of any of any big room I've been in, mm-hmm. like I'll 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 go to almost any show there. If... You know who does the sound there anymore? No, no. I think because well, I feel like it's gotten better in the past couple of years. There was a while where, definitely where it was like straight up spaghetti factory, fucking wild, <laughs> just like not nothing sounded good. But I think it's gotten a little better recently. More better for it has gotten much more better. It's yeah, gotten I, much more more better for reasons. They've got the the little balconies mm-hmm. on either side. That I like. That. I love the yeah. old people. If you get a good spot, spot it's awesome. Yeah, just leaning. You can just park there. Yeah. But same thing. Like I'll I'll lean like right up right up on the like the rail that the mm-hmm. soundboard is at, mm-hmm. and you can't get fucked with back there. It's too far away. Mm-hmm. And like when you're at a show that uh that like moshing is more frequent at i don't typically find myself in like a nice sounding venue in the first place you know yeah 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 yeah. like like anywhere that we've played together or like that i've seen you guys or any other bands play it's like a vfw or like a small place or like god forbid a house show or something (laughs) god forbid a house show. you are 32 now it's uh, god forbid a a house show no i I rue the day that I have to go to a house show <laughs> St- now, but like, like a little, a little room like Philomoka or something. It's fine. I've never played there yet. I would love to play Philomoka. Honestly. It's good. Yeah. I think it's going to make a resurgence now, but like, uh, like underground arts, there's enough good spots in that room. Yeah. And, uh, even the underground arts in the small room, but like any, anywhere out of state. No, it's, mm. it's a fucking crap shoot. Mm. Like being being safe and like watching a band from like a respectable distance that you can like still like be a part of what's going on and mm-hmm. enjoy yourself. Now, like, like we like Danny and I grew up with the with the Harmony Grange. That was the place. Mm. Yeah. Was like, sick. and there was a time. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but no matter who was playing, no matter what the show was, most kids would just go there. Yeah. Like that's true. no matter what. And, and just be like, all right, this is a band playing. Sometimes they were really awesome too, but same thing. Like this one, Delaware. Yeah. Okay. Is this on, is this on limestone? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah. I don't think I ever actually went. Damn, that place was sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like right over there. 
Mm-hmm. I got a good story about that place when I was uh like into that like going there all the time as a kid. I was still also really into skating, so like I would always like go with my board and skate and shit. But this just happened to be the one time I went and didn't have it. And I saw this dude in like the center of the room because all the lights were still turned on uh, for the one band setting up, and he was skating, and I was pretty. He high. was skating. Yeah, he was skating. <laughs> like, and yeah, I was like, damn, that's sick. No one's saying shit to him. And then I was like, can I see it? And he was like, do you want to play skate? And I was like, all right. <laughs> and so I started playing skate with this dude, and I absolutely smashed him, and it was sick. <laughs> but when he got done, he was like, that was fun. Uh, I gotta go, and I was like, "Oh, well, all right, cool." Where are you going? Then, he just he just came to the gig to just find somebody <laughs> just to get play beat. skate with. Yeah, yeah, to get his ass whooped. And <laughs> Danny ruined it for him. Yeah, yeah I guess. But it's a long skate up you, that hill. You vanquished him. That's what happened. Yeah, he's like, he came he, to enjoy no the music's gig. gonna sound good after this shit. Yeah, no, no, it couldn't. His his wife divorced him after that and mm-hmm. took the kids and everything I, like that. I, see, that's not how it went though. The craziest part was. <laughs> He gets up on stage and it was oh, the lead no. singer to Bring Me the Horizon. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I was like, damn, can I get a shirt? Yeah. <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, I was like, damn, that was pretty What were you going to have him sign your board? Is that where you're getting at? No, no. It was just yeah. crazy that it was him. I played yeah. him. I was like, what the fuck? That's wow. so funny. I thought it was just some random kid with like a what bowl a sh- cut. What a fucking M. Night <laughs> twist that was. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't have appreciated that in a hundred years. Dude. I was going to say, that's a long skate up that hill to Duncan, but he's going all the way back to the UK with that story. Yeah. I lost, and then I had to play to 100 kids in the huge room. Yeah, he's like, this blue fucking <laughs> one fish and chips on my ass. This, fucking, this fucking wanker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking knobhead. <laughs> that bell end. F- fucking bell end. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. not. Up the ra. <laughs> that's <laughs> Fuck, Irish. I know, you started it. <laughs> Oh God, where's Dennis? Uh, apparently, apparently Deb took a took a spill. Oh, so he like he's go- he's out for good reason. Oh, okay. Today, well, so I hope Deb gets. Yeah, uh, she's speedy, probably okay, but speedy recovery to yeah, speedy to recovery. Deb. It's slippery out there. Oh, no, I well, thought that's what you nicknamed him. Is that his <laughs> Deb? significant other? No, it's uh uh. I called. I refer to Dennis as the baby. Okay. Because I have like he doesn't drive, so I have to go pick him up. Like before, like before e- any time we record, I have to go pick him up. I take him home, and like I'm, I'm like responsible for like the things that he does. So I'll tell my girlfriend, I'm like I gotta go pick up the baby now, <laughs> and shit. I, I, I get a kick out of it. That's awesome. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> Is it a far drive? No, no. He lives like by Del Castle. Oh, okay. So it's like eight minutes yeah from here yeah, from to the Grange. yeah just the other dire- yeah actually the similar direction now that i think about it but speaking of the locale i i wanted to bring you guys on so you could talk about your shop a little bit sure at least like i've known i've known danny since well since high school i knew you in high school a little bit but like there was a point in time where you could either stay with skateboarding and like continue that or like a lot of like maybe i don't know how many other kids from our age range like go the music route i went the music route and i started i continued to go to shows and i put my board down so like we haven't seen each other very much in the years since but like i ran into you at like skate jams here and there but when i heard that you were opening a pizza shop i was like what the fuck he's open danny basso is opening a business (laughs) it's like shit but I tried, I tried to keep in contact with you in, like throughout the process and then sure enough I tried it the weekend you guys opened and I was like fuck this is great yeah, so, got lucky. yeah. what do you mean you got lucky we just guessed you guessed what? That people are going to like pizza. Like, yeah. He's never even it. made a pizza in his life. Before. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit. I've seen him make <laughs> I've seen him make pizza. I was like, damn. What are the odds? Uh, like, no, I was going to say, what, like, how did, how did it come about? What the fuck? Oh, it's super anticlimactic, climactic. <laughs> Well, my story of it, my version of it is, like, my whole version is Tyler called me and was like, or texted me, I was rolling silver at work, and it was just, hey, dude, I have this, like, idea, man, I don't know if it's anything you'd be into, but, you know, maybe we can open a restaurant, and I was just like, yeah, I'm down, 
<laughs> Fuck and, it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was like, okay, cool. And I was like, we should talk about it. So I wore a suit when he went to meet up with me. <laughs> oh, man. And I was like, dude, let's go get fucking food and drinks. Mm-hmm. And so we got trashed. At, well, I got trashed. He was probably, at, yeah, at your current job. He was current, okay. At my current job. Yeah. And, uh, current at that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And then uh, it was, I don't know, it was just funny. And then I was like, yeah, I'm super down. Let's do it. And then that's what we did. So if Tyler didn't hit me up, I probably would just still be at home fucking around. Hell yeah. Look at that handsome that bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, no, I mean, we. Uh, you yeah, said, we, didn't you I, say you worked together at one point? Yeah, I at mean, that I, place? we've known each other through skating like far before that. Um, I don't even know. How old we were when we met? I feel like around sixteen-ish. Yeah, 16-ish. probably at Chichester Skate Park or something, mm-hmm. and hung I out a chai a kind of ever times. since on and off. Uh, just when I moved away for a bit, uh, but yeah, always texted, hung out, even when I was from afar. Came back, skated all the time again. I started working at a pizza shop he was working at, which happens to be the exact location we're at now. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we were there. I mean, he had been there for. Well, like eight years or something yeah, on and a off. Long time, yeah. Plus, you know, he had done pizza prior to that at other places, so it was just kind of in his blood at that point. <laughs> and uh, the marinara was, yeah, yeah. the pizza, the tomato mm-hmm. sauce. Mm. He's uh, he's actually more Italian than Jewish, believe it or not. So he could shit in an Italian cemetery all he wants <laughs> also, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they would fuck with me there, dude. <laughs> Why? Because they just be like. Dude, I can see right through his sweat right now that there's garlic all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's Italian Jays. That's fine. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, so yeah, when I moved back, I so we'll get into that. But basically, I moved back from California where mm-hmm. I lived for four years. And we worked at that shop for like three years. Uh, started going downhill. Me and Danny left. He did his own thing. I started doing graphic design. Uh for a couple of years almost and then that actual shop became available the location I, yeah and i saw it uh and yeah we're just like why not we had good times there uh we're familiar with the with the you location have the lay of the land yeah. yeah and you know especially danny having been there so long mm-hmm. you know knows what's best for that place so i brought you know my graphic design knowledge and managerial experience uh plus my limited pizza knowledge and his pizza his infinite master, wisdom you know yeah he's also a yeah. handyman with a fucking hammer anything breaks in the shop like i can get a guy to come fix it but if there's like a part that you can break to be it done more. personally i'm like <laughs> tyler it's broken i don't know what to do mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's it like we have like these broken walls and i was like because we had to do some plumbing thing i was like yeah, I don't know what to do. Do you know? And he was like, yeah, I'll be back. Goes to Lowe's, gets everything we need for it in, like, no time. I was like, sick. Thank you, God someone can do shit like this. You guys need each other. You need, both of you need somebody like that mm-hmm. to, uh, like, yeah. make a successful spot. Well, yeah. it seems to be fucking working. Yeah. No, we're, we're definitely a good team. We're very uh, similar in a lot of ways, especially, like, our sense of humor. But polar opposites, just the way our minds work. Okay. I'm, like, very analytical and hyper-focused. He's very creative and spacey. Well, yeah, well, one thing onto the next. So he creates, exactly and I come mean. and clean up after him. I know yeah. exactly what you mean. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's kind of like doing a podcast. That's you why we've I. had such a successful podcast all this time, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's easy to transition through subjects. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not painful at all. No. No. Um. So like. Anyway, uh, I don't think we we mentioned the name. It's called Stone Mill Pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, just throw a little plug in there. Uh, right here. Hocassin, Delaware, seventy three thirteen Lancaster Pike. Yeah. One nine seven zero seven. If it, case you need a. Two 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 eight zero, seven one nine four. But uh. Yeah, mine definitely says four twenty in it somewhere. That's cool. Blaze it. <laughs> yeah. So we do all. Uh, just on the subject, all wood-fired pizza. Uh, we, everything's scratch made, limited menu. We rotate with the seasons, as you guys know. I don't think you haven't been in. No, no, but I, I will. If you did, it wasn't an important enough face for me to remember, apparently. <laughs> and it was nice of you guys yeah. to bring in pizza for us today. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you go to a restaurant, you would know we're closed today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're closed on Monday. MLK. Tom, <laughs> Tom knew that. Yes. He wasn't expecting yeah. anything. <laughs> now, I heard you guys were doing an MLK special, right? For this week. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. So speak on that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're celebrating by being closed like we are every Monday. Okay. <laughs> Good. That's the special. But no, had it been on another day. Sure. Of course. Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't expect anything without like the fucking lights being on today or anything. Yeah. It's insane to expect anything anyway. Yeah, well, our oven takes close to two hours to heat up, so... Does it really? Yeah, so you guys weren't what? that special enough for us to go in there and light that shit up for I've, I've two nerd, hours and come in. I have yeah, a, nerd, a lot. nerd question. What's So what's the process of, like, you know, have you guys worked with wood ovens versus, like, brick ovens? Or, like, what's the, like, what's the process of, like, putting that in a business and, like, doing that whole thing? fucking sucks no <laughs> um, yeah no no it's awesome uh we got our oven sent to us in like pieces and we had to put it together ourselves and thank god we have smart friends and tyler yeah. and shit because i thank was you. just like i, say, I can lift friends. this shit a little bit that's cool i guess like yeah otherwise i'm useless but uh i can pick we, things up yeah and i was like i'll get these all inside but yeah, so we had to put it together from scratch and everything. And then setting it up, like, in general, like, when you're getting it started from the day, it's, you know, it can takes, like, two hours. You got to stack wood in there. You got to keep it clean. There's ash everywhere. Uh-huh. You you know, but I've worked with all the other ovens. I've done conveyor belts, which are yeah. sad. It's mm. just, like, exactly what you would it's think. It's like a like, microwave. Yeah. It's, the like fl- a it's the fleshlight of, of ovens. <laughs> Sure, I guess. No, that, yeah, I mean, what is the flashlight like of ovens? Let's talk, oh, I guess the microwave is the flashlight of uh, flashlight of ovens, right? Uh, no, because I like I I don't mind a microwave. Oh. I don't want to, I don't want to pay for what's coming out of it unless it's like left. If it's leftovers, I've already paid for sure. But I think that no, it's probably the microwave. Let's be honest. Okay, fair <laughs> I, enough. I, I retract everything I just said. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> yeah, so conveyor belts, they right. suck. They're sad. It's lame. You shouldn't have it. And then there's <laughs> deck ovens, which are tight. Those are fine. That's like you go to a New York joint. Is that like the big steel one? It's like, yeah, big steel one. They sit mm. on top of one another. Uh-huh. And like, they okay. still like open it and turn them and spin them and stuff. So like, yeah. there's some like, you know, Technique. actual cooking and technique involved like you start to slide it off of a peel if you're putting shit like on a screen and then just throwing it in the oven you're a dork that stuff's <laughs> la- like super lame it's you might as well just microwave your own food and then there's wood fire there's coal fire there's all kinds of different like other ones but wood fire is the real deal you i mean if you ever come in on a friday night like i'm not pulling my own pizzas it's impossible i'd fucking burn everything tyler sits there and just gets melted in front of the oven for <laughs> mm-hmm. hours just getting toasted and like he wears this one glove on his hand oh my god and every <laughs> every few hours so he's like time to change up and he pulls it off and just all this water comes <laughs> out like oh. it looks like he's like a boxer training for a fight wearing a sweatsuit uh-huh. and then like they take it off and bring it out it's just the glove oh man it's, yeah, it's crazy too gnarly. yeah like my one well anyway i wear one glove so i can kind of deck out the pizzas when they come out mm-hmm. uh but i have to kind of decide how long i want to keep that on and like if i see like pizzas that need you know more work as it comes out of the oven uh if not it's usually not worth it because this hand is usually so dried out especially this time of year like just yeah just so uh what's the word like uh Scaling. pruning you know from being wet oh I don't know. It, yeah it's that com- didn't com- it, yeah combined with the dry skin of this time yeah so imagine being in front of like a up to thousand degree oven with your hand like no. it's like your hands look like that so mine can look like this <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> what i go through to not touch people's food directly you know what i mean it's it's tough i, I that's a big part of working in a restaurant that i feel mm-hmm. like people don't realize is like oh um, yeah your hands are all we're touching over. everything it's yeah. all over the place yeah when when i worked at a wood fire like pizza spot Sorry. I, I worked at a Whole Foods at one point, mm-hmm. and they had like my location. I don't know if other ones do. It had a had a huge, not a huge, but like it seemed like a big wood fire oven too, and they were burning like, I think it was like seven hundred fifty degrees like all the time. Yeah. And when I was making pies, 
Like you have to reach in there and like spin the pizza around just right. And that shit's hot. Mm-hmm. And you have to stand. You Like you said, you have to stand in front of it all day. So you're like, your back's all sweaty. Mm-hmm. Well, and I, like, I run a little cold, so I don't, I don't hate it. You don't mind that, it. You know what I mean? If you kind of stand off like a foot to the left, with, like I do, mm-hmm. you can deal with it. And, and you can then, kind of watch it a little bit. But yeah, you start to build up a, a callus, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Your arm, I'll like just straight up reach in and spin the pie with my hand sometimes just because, you know. I find that I'm easier. here. The peel's two feet over there. Now, <laughs> how do you guys feel about uh, the, the people that are buying the the uh, ovens for like their home or their backyard? Do you feel like that's stolen valor? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't because actually it's kind of sick. It's those people go home <clears throat> and they try to uh, make pizza on their own, make dough by themselves, use that oven. And, you know, you got people on like social media who like, you know, pull out a pie and it looks amazing, mm-hmm. but you don't see anyone like cutting into that shit. Like they probably like the whole inside of it's probably raw or mm-hmm. like just bum. Like it look like you can make anything look good on like social media. So it's true. Or how's that bottom look? Yeah, I bet bottom. it's all that's, white, dude. That's, that's the saying. question. <laughs> that's the question I always ask. How's, how's, how's that bottom? bottom? That's how I met my fiance. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good that there's not uh, gatekeeping in the pizza community. Uh, <laughs> plus, we do have a lot of people who come in and they'll just buy our raw dough. Yeah, no use, shit. You know, because it's well, I guess you we, make it. So. Yeah, we make it like especially for this type of cooking, so it's made to work in those types of ovens. Right. So, dang, yeah. you guys are probably there all fucking day. Yeah. We are. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Jeez. just realized what a job was. Yeah. Fuck. You guys are probably there <laughs> like all true. day. <laughs> I'm done at three o'clock and I go home, okay? Yeah, believe yeah. it or not, this isn't a Kramer's pizza from Seinfeld where <laughs> everybody makes their own <laughs> shit. We have to, you know, do it for them. Now, some people think they can make their own shit. Mm-hmm. Now, like, uh, maybe it was because the nature of where it was, but we would get... A, at the old store, we would get the some of the times the craziest questions for shit. What's the craziest? Well, cra- just like some some topping I've never heard of, or some or like like not even just like a half and half pie, but like a quarter oh, yeah. of a pie. Those, those people kick fucking rocks. <laughs> like, Anyone that hits us with a quarter, I'm like. Nah. Get another pie. Stop yeah. being fucking lame. Yeah. Or, like, I'm not getting the compass out to fucking <laughs> no. like, like yeah. figure yeah. out how I'm much. Not gonna... yeah. Danny didn't finish school because you know <laughs> that's why he opened his own business. Yeah. Send him back there. If I was good at geometry, geometry, I wouldn't get into the pizza business. Dude, you should see me try to spell toppings. <laughs> it's like, awesome. I can pronounce it, but god damn, that's a long word. <laughs> like, how many vowels are in this one? Dude, too many. Two what, peas. Especially with what? all the Italian meats and stuff oh, we have. God. And they all him, sound so him similar. Write stuff, it's, it's pretty awesome. Dude, and yeah, my handwriting is insane. It looks like the creative start, always. As soon mm-hmm. as I start putting the pencil on the like notepad, it literally turns looks into like a dick drawing. Tickling me. And <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> when I first worked there, some uh, some customer was asking for jute. Oh, uh, don't do that. And yeah. I was like, I was like, I'm I'm really sorry. What? <laughs> He's like, you know, jute. You have jute. And I was like, S- like for s- this was like one week on the job. I was like, respectfully, like, what are you saying to me? <laughs> And he was like, prosciutto, hey, prosciutto. You have prosciutto. I was You're like, like okay. yeah. There's a vowel at the end of that too, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, that. And there's mm-hmm. a whole like prefix <laughs> that you've left off yeah yeah we kind of we kind of went with that uh whole drop the last vowel thing as a joke with anything we have like we've got a prosciutto of happiness oh hot super i've had sot. that it's good you know that we movie don't was good too. i put the apostrophes <laughs> at the end just to emphasize like you know that's the, the designer in you yeah, yeah dude that apostrophe goes a long way yeah it's a visual thing it's mm-hmm. well at least you again at least you kept the prefix so people know how the word starts hot jute God, <laughs> jute of happiness. Dude, should have called it that. People still fuck it up though. It's so crazy. Like people call uh, it. Prosciutto is the funniest word for people to say. Yeah, but like even that one, like it sounds like just like pursuit of happiness. Like it's so easy just to put. Yeah, it together. like and they like, never understood that can reference. I get that one with like the honey and the ham on it. And I'm like, 
Uh, like a rude it, you like make them fuck. say it. You make them <laughs> say. It. Oh no! I, w- I want to hear you say it. That's like when we when, <laughs> when I worked at a brunch restaurant for years, and it's like whenever we had a really dumb name special, I would make people say the whole thing. It's oh, like no, yeah. it's sit in it, pig. <laughs> <laughs> I have no shame. I'll go to Friendly's tonight and mm-hmm. order a hunk of chunk of peanut butter fudge. Well, yeah, a moon's over my hammy, dude. <laughs> at uh, Denny's. Yeah. Well, we, we have a few also <laughs> that we make because we think they're funny, but also it's yeah. funny to watch people say them. Like we do a, our is. buffalo chicken pizza, we call the Buff Daddy, and I <laughs> love when people order that on the phone they just because yeah, yeah, they're like the, that uh, uh, buffalo one. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking which about. Which one? I, I, I'm i sorry, yeah. man. <laughs> I love like... It- <laughs> Can I get the Buff Daddy? And you're like, I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah well, I'm actually too. taken, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think my wife would like that. <laughs> <You're> hungry too. <laughs> oh man! Well, I brought some current events. Okay. okay. To the show, so I like, don't have cable, but go on. <laughs> uh, I luck. I don't either, but luckily there is Reddit. Okay. And I I find a lot of news stories on there, and sometimes I'll bring them to the pod to just bounce off of one another. And there's one. We just we just talked about this a second ago, and it's directly oh this is the uh, the riding our decks in the snow. Okay. So <laughs> nice, right? <clears throat> uh, no fun, Toronto bans tobogganing at forty five hills across the city. Says uh, councilor un- unhappy with the move. The city says there are twenty nine designated toboggan hills in twenty seven park locations across Toronto. <laughs> Toronto has banned, I'm, I'm going to call it sledding, because we don't call it yeah. fucking toboggan. It sounds, it sounds fucked up. It sounds like a bad word. <laughs> I know. It sounds like, yeah. 45 hills across the city due to safety concerns, and one counselor says he's not happy with the move because there are more important issues that, the, that should be drawing the attention of the city staff. Counselor Brad Bradford... Mm. who represents that's a sims character (laughs) (laughs) that's like a creative skater (laughs) beaches east york said on friday that residents can manage the physical risk of sledding he said the ban shows that toronto is becoming a no fun city that doesn't respond to the needs of families quote this is just nonsense it's no it's the no fun city when you start seeing them cracking down on sledding especially in a place that has decades of experience and a tradition of sledding one of the hills where sledding is banned is East Lynn Park on Danforth Avenue Avenue near Woodbrine Avenue. This is a little too local for me. <laughs> he said, Bradford says he realizes the ban is in place due to liability concerns, meaning if a person is sledding on a hill and gets and and if a person sledding sledding on a hill in the city gets injured that person could sue the city for damages but he said the ban is quote all or nothing approach uh that assumes people are not taking personal responsibility for their actions hey, let's see this is going to ruin it's like one of those things when you think of toronto you think hockey hall of fame toboggans <laughs> and now what and now what and now what's all they had french fries and gravy Put- yeah <laughs> <laughs> Gross, dude. No, I thought that was pretty. How do you guys feel about poutine? I haven't had it. I eat it. Really? Yeah. You hate it? You said? No, I'd eat it. Oh, you would eat it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'd try it, but I've never had it. Yeah. I've never Have had you had it, either. it? I can imagine what it tastes like, though. Yeah, I've had it. It's so. good. It looks good. Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> so you've had it? I've I've not actually because it's oh. um it uh there's usually like beef gravy, but the first time uh me and my fiance went to Toronto years ago, um I we drove three hours to get to this fucking poutine place that had vegetarian poutine. Yeah. And I got to tell you, after three hours in traffic, doesn't taste, good. doesn't really taste that good. <laughs> doesn't really make a it difference. Tastes like suicide. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things aren't worth three hours driving. Mm. No, like, no. If you got the poutine and then had sex immediately after worth the three hour drive. I see. I'll have to try that next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did maybe it wrong. You, maybe you incorporate the cheese curds in in a way that is, uh, you know, enticing, sexually mm-hmm. gratifying. <laughs> yeah. Now there there is a pizza spot to bring it back to pizza that's I think is worth a three hour drive like once every year or two, and that's Angelo's in Wilkes Bear. Oh, I absolutely agree. Angelo's is top three pizza for me. Really? Yeah. I mm, that's high, but 
We, uh, it's fucking really good. That's Dan- crazy. What's your top three real quick? Uh, in this area or, or period? Period. Little Vinny's is number one. Uh, let's see. Number two. Number two. <coughs> Stone Mill. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I'd say easily number three. Okay. Stone Mill is easily Stay my cool. number three. It could go higher. But it might be my number two because I can't think of a fucking number two. I it's, can't wait to better. try this pizza now. Now, are you are you veg or are you f- full on vegan no, still? Just vegetarian. Okay, because they like they've got a lot of stuff cooking. We got vegan. We got vegan. We got vegetarian. Okay. We got meat. Yeah, and you said you're in Philly, so what's that? An hour it's not drive? that far. Yeah, yeah. Good. he's here now. Yeah, but again, I'll give you the close. keys. Like I said, you can go in, start <laughs> I'll, the I'll, oven I'll, up. I was going to say, I'll that. start the oven up. We should have started it when we started. Is. I don't know what knob you're hitting. You just to throw wood in. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> there's, there's like, none, none of that. I just this isn't working. Yeah. I don't. You're gonna need a matchbook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Definitely, definitely, like with unequivocally, Stone Mill is on my top three. Oh, I in just the, wanted to make sure. In mm-hmm. this area, it seemed like you were going to skim over us, and I was like, "That's mm-hmm. no, I, I, I know what I'm about." <laughs> and fuck, if I have my druthers, mm, uh, Big Gay Tony's in Newark is pretty good. I never had that. Like That's, from GTA Four. No, <laughs> it's it's just the name that Tyler Mullen gave this place called Tony's in <laughs> in Newark. It's like right near. Uh, 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 where the, the it's near the guitar place, right? It's near the Big Bank of America. Yeah, it's right on seventy one. It's on Paper Mill. Yes, it's next to where the guitar house used to be. You, oh, okay. It's in like on uh, Center. Possum. Yes, Park or Possum Park. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yo, place, there's a place called place. Possum Park. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That fucking rules. It's not Opossum. Is it's it Possum? Wait, is mm-hmm. is that like the unofficial? name of it or is it actually called so possum? that's the, the name of the oh road. really it's, possum it's park not road. like in philly where it's no, like it's not irish affectionately called needle park but it's like <laughs> actually called something else no it's, it's, it's called... not just a park where like possums congregate to fuck or anything i think that's how it got the name really but mm-hmm. it is called that for sure hmm. now that's, that's fun unequivocal unequivocally my top three in this in this area specifically and like a lot of times I'll know it when I see it. Like I don't I don't like to fuck with chains. Really? Yeah, it's the punk in you. I guess. <laughs> no, I get it. It's the like If you were actually punk, you would be fucking with chains. You would be wearing them. I would if I was a chain punk, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm more I'm, I'm not a yeah, your well, pants I'm not look an, like a bike rack. <laughs> I'm not an egg punk, I just know that. I don't know what a chain What punk. is that? <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, fair enough. No, uh, today I got pizza from, ironically, another place named Tony's in Port Richmond that was fucking fantastic. But, like, if it's, if, it's a, if it's a corner spot like that, and I can tell there's one of them, I'll probably go there. Like, 99 out of 100 times. Yeah, I'm right there with you on that one. I don't if like... a chain, like, I can tell it's a chain... That place, I don't even give a fuck what it is. I won't even go on a Wawa. I hate those places. I will not try a Wawa pizza. Yeah. I will not try that. I was I just, just going to ask if you tried from, I won't even get their cigarettes. I don't even smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard their pizza cigarettes are really good. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll find time, out dude. today. There's like, a, there's like a minty one they do. It's like a Newport one. It's crazy. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I think so, somebody once said the name of like what the frozen pizza is that Wawa buys. And I was like, oh, I can just buy that myself. I will never buy that mm. from Wawa. No mm. chance. So I, I won't I won't do like a pro, like a Papa John's or a Domino's or shit like that. Yeah. If no. if the shop has limited hours, like like the one like Vinny's when I grew up was only open Monday through Friday until seven or some shit so you just uh, deal with it so tom fuck mary Kill and, and everybody <laughs> uh fuck mary kill uh pizza hut domino's Ooh. or papa john's uh okay i'm gonna kill domino's because domino's fucking stinks wow okay pizza's not good okay oh fuck pa- papa john being so problematic is not a factor in your decision making nah oh okay. uh, so i'm separating the art from the oh, art okay i can't even some, finish the sentence some, some, it's too stupid some cosby logic <laughs> happening here i okay. i suppose oh god <laughs> I, I i pizzaed myself into a corner with that yep. one <laughs> fuck dude 
I'd fuck Papa John's just to get it over with, but I would marry clip that. I clip would clip it. I would marry Pizza Hut. Mm-hmm. So that because that's you got to hold that one down. So that it doesn't go away, and so that it can go back to its '90s glory, right? With the dining room. Yeah, I think they should re. Uh, I don't know uh, what's it called. Like I, I almost said remaster. I, I was going to say remaster, but they should uh, revamp. redo revamp. Thank you. Redo all Pizza Huts. Hey, that's to why be they're in business, dude. Just the '90s, are they still like nostalgia. They- <laughs> Technically, they are. Yes. I thought that place went away. It's slowly going away mm-hmm. because they're only attached to like places that have like a, they're under the same parent company as KFC Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. I th- I don't remember what it's called, but it doesn't matter. Danny, fuck Mary, kill pizza <laughs> chains. What you got? Uh, if it's the same three, I'm gonna kill Domino's. I'm gonna fuck pizza because that'd be some greasy good shit right there. <laughs> and then, That's uh, true, actually. And then Papa John's I'd marry because it's under Shaq's roof now. Oh, oh good that's point. That's so true. I'm trying to listen to some fucking techno Shaq. I forgot Shaquille is is the uh, associated with <laughs> Papa, Papa John's. Are you all right there, Tom? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's impressed by your pronunciation. And that's how you say it. <laughs> God, you're such a wordsmith. How do you do that? I'd, I'd, I used to buy shoes when I was in... <laughs> Grade school. The Shacks. Yeah. <laughs> he never they did sold, that they move. Sold in, they, <laughs> they sold them in Kmart's. I know. I, I saw them Remember in Bayless. Kmart's? Uh, yes. Remember how fucked up Kmart's were? There was a huge one right around the corner from here for a long time. Really? And now it's a huge gym. I, I remember it's just like buying clothes from there when I was a kid and just like being a little fucking like, you know, <laughs> thicker than I am. Oh, and yeah? just, be, just like reading the thing and it's like, and it's the size is husky. Husky. And it's like, come on, man. Don't call me. I'm already shopping at Kmart. Dude, I had so to I'm wear husky poor. when I was a kid too. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Cause I was like really short. I wasn't like fat or anything, but I was so short, like my legs. So that's the only way I could fit the pants ah. without them being super long. I see. You know what I mean? Those would have been drippy now. So then I started, yeah. cuff, yeah. I started Should've cuffing held on my pants them. when I, I was just like, nah, fuck this husky stuff. Started cuffing my pants. Next thing you know, it's like a trend. And yeah. I still do it, but trendsetter well, you know it, yeah it takes an eye it takes a like, short-legged man yes it takes it takes an eye like yours to mm. see tr- like see trends before they happen mm. <laughs> there's a old kmart commercial i don't know if you've ever seen it but the kicker in it is they would ship stuff and so like the guy at the kiosk is like i can just ship my pants right here yes i do <laughs> remember then, that yeah, oh so yeah like, yeah it's sick and he just talks about shipping them they rapid fire said ship the pants like Mm-hmm. 17 times it was yeah. very funny and then that goes to like a like bed se- bedding section and the guy's like i can ship in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> ship the bed dude that's what kmart needs to come back they should have brought and quiz if if they brought that back and quiznos brought back the cursed commercial campaign oh I the, think, the the thing the we the love the quiz. subs yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good they need to bring all that stuff back and just get rid of the crap that they're trying to peddle us now mm. I see right through it. <laughs> Speak- <laughs> and speaking of which, so so you're gonna fuck um, Domino's also? I'm just I'm uh, or kill Domino's or kill Domino's. Well, if I'm being honest, I I could say that I'm lactose intolerant and I'm gonna take the bullet. Oh, Ooh. so I, I always do this when we do these fuck Mary kills just to be an asshole. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah. all of them. Wait, so anytime you're pre- even if it's pre- stuff I like, I, yeah. I, well, I was gonna say anytime you're presented a fuck marry kill, you have to preface it by saying I am lactose intolerant, so I will. Oh yeah, I always know, use that. Even if it has Snoopy. nothing to do with food. Yeah, <laughs> but no, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe I'd follow up Tom with the Would you marry Pizza Hut just to bring it back? Yeah, yeah. Just you know, I I want that salad bar and I want that 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 nice like. With those weird stained glass lights. Yeah. I want yep. that dining room back, yep. man. Uh, it's cool. The the big Pepsi cups that are made yes. out of like stained glass plastic. Uh, yeah. like uh-huh. The red ones, right? Yeah. 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 I used to have some. They were co- um I had Coca-Cola ones though. I read somewhere that, that they were the uh the biggest uh buyer of kale to to dress the salad bars with for the longest <laughs> Just period. Just to of time. dress it. Yeah, cuz I mean the, no one's eating it. I you mean, fucking weirdo. Like, not, this doesn't remain or iceberg. Or <laughs> this doesn't crunch like that. What the fuck? It's all it's all dark and bitter. Then the hipsters uh, marketed it to all the Whole Foods customers. Yeah, yeah. When well, Pizza Hut started made tanking. kale cool again. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I worked there, the they through being kale. <laughs> they convinced me 
when I work there that it is good. I, I don't mind a kale, actually. I was just... With the right, like, a super garlicky, like, tahini dressing. Like, something really strong, it's pretty good. Yeah, something that actually tastes good to make it taste good. I get that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking no-brainer. That shit sucks. Largely, I do not... I Like, I haven't had it since then, but... I didn't mind it. <laughs> Why did you say that like it, like it's kale and not a finger in the ass? What? You're like, I, the last time I had it, I didn't mind it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I wouldn't shy away from a finger. Kale, though. No. Don't get crazy on me. I got some more. <laughs> I got some more news stories. Let's hear it. Now, uh, s- speaking of chains, a Subway customer complained of numb lips after allegedly finding white powder on a sandwich. Nice. A customer at a Reno Subway alleged uh, alleged that he bit into a sandwich and felt his lips go numb, according to a report by Northern Nevada Public Health, the agency responsible for the inspections. Inspectors arrived at the subway at 5015 South McCrarran Boulevard in mid-December after receiving a complaint from a customer who claimed a white powder on their sandwich made the customer's lips begin to feel numb. The person in charge of the South McCrarran Subway told inspectors on site excuse me, that the restaurant had received a new shipment of Parmesan oregano bread topping mix, which seemed to include a, a more Parmesan powder than normal. According to the NNHP report, inspectors observed that bags of the Parmesan mix had higher cheese to seasoning ratio. The person in charge of the subway stated that they planned on sending it back. Inspectors also observed no construction issues or paint chipping near the food or pre- uh, food prep area that may have resulted in a physical hazard entering the food product. Uh, the NNPH stated it could not verify the complaint at the time. Subway did not respond to RSG's request for comment. So, so their mouth getting numb is the only... Uh, that's the only evidence they have the only evidence that they have i also don't hear any like definitive or uh accusation in there of what it could be yeah yeah. i think the way that the article is like titled i think it's trying to infer that there was coke in there or something (laughs) yeah man i gotta get a foot long uh like fucking (laughs) yeah nothing like that my problem with it say it is cocaine do you think a subway worker can afford cocaine let alone that's a great that he would let it fall onto the sandwich and not you know. Yeah, no, there's that's a great point. Absolutely fucking not. I think you have a higher Perhaps chance it was of finding flour and they have a gluten intolerance. Mm. I don't know. Does that burn your lips for celiac? Mm. Does anybody have celiac in here? No. God, I hope not. What a curse that would be. I think you have a higher chance of finding meth in a subway sandwich than <laughs> mm-hmm. cocaine. Than honestly. Coke. Something yeah. more affordable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that could have just been a crushed up pill. What if it was like a crushed up oxy or something yeah yeah that's even that's that's even more plausible yeah and there's all like they didn't respond to comment there's not much to this story the headline really really took me out or something you know don't say say what it is here's his money hush money yeah Mm. here's a bump on me (laughs) and there's plenty more where that came from kid (laughs) does anybody know how jared's doing i think he's about to get out is it are you serious i think so do you keep up with him does he text you back it was <laughs> no <laughs> he, he wouldn't do that is he who's that the subway guy was yeah he locked up? yeah he, you didn't hear about that no what he did he loves them kids he kept dude. pulling out his foot long dude he loves those kids <laughs> jesus Christ. he's just like drake bell except with boys oh man yeah oh i showed danny uh it was <laughs> drake bell's uh trial he, but somebody put a laugh track and He's... the Nickelodeon logo over it. It was, it was awesome. It was good. That's awesome. Yeah. Jared, uh, one of the number one Google searches, how is Jared Fogle how doing? How is he? How's he doing? Jared Fogle. Ju- uh, I du- never hear from him anymore. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough. Dubbed the subway guy is currently serving a 15-year prison sentence in a federal facility. Mm. He previously ple- uh, pleaded guilty to multiple counts of child sex crimes and child pornography in 2015. Not good. So I was wrong. He is not any Not doing well. It's because the fucking documentary just came out. Oh. And there was uh, there was some info in there that I already also forgot that I can't reference. Oh, okay. So really well, glad I brought that up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he was in a documentary. So I'm really, good. really good at this. Yeah. <laughs> That documentary I saw one time. 
So is he still locked up? Has mm-hmm. it, oh, okay. According to down fifteen pounds, up fifteen years of life. Fifteen years. <laughs> but here's the kicker, dude. He's locked up in a juvenile detention center. Uh, oh man, they Jesus. fucked up. <laughs> Let's see. I got one more. Let's see. Now, this this is relevant only because it was called out today. I guess. <laughs> Uh, Edwardsville, Illinois. Uh, Edwardsville warming shelter is fined seven hundred and fifty dollars a day for a city zoning violation. A church was uh, uh, opening their doors because it was so cold, and letting people like letting unhoused people inside to not freeze to death. And the city is fining them seven hundred and fifty dollars a day. And uh, let's see. Received a citation on December 19th about needing a special permit they have yet to apply for. As bitter cold temperature hit the bi-state, a local church is being penalized for sheltering the homeless. The city is fining uh, First Baptist Church in Edwardsville $750 a day after it opened its doors to those in need. Back in October 2023, the city notified shelter organizers with the Glen Ed uh, Ministerial Alliance uh, about the need for a special use permit to ensure life safety measures were in place. A man lost both his feet in Edwardsville to the cold two years ago. He had bilateral amputations. Michael Babb, the secretary, said, uh, This has galvanized and animated the ministerial alliance to say that this should not be happening in our town. The overnight warming location at the church was activated for the fourth night on sun, uh, Saturday. However, the city issued a citation due to l- the absence of a special use permit application. The city claims it's a zoning violation, which means $750 fine per day for the shelter. The church is refuting that claim, uh, citing a special permit issued in 1969 that allows the ministry... Uh, to the community, meaning it can provide shelter to those in need under that mission. OWL organizers and city officials have been in repeated conversations since October of last year, but the city said they have still yet to receive a special use permit application. Also, neighbors oppose this. Uh, The Edwardsville Township Board of Trustees pledged support awarding $1,000 in funds that will be used to purchase an AED and personal protective equipment for the church. And let's see. First Baptist Church said they're expecting to be open for the next uh, few days because of the continued frigid temperatures. Capitalism is working. Apparently. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's gross, dude. Yeah. Maybe they're using too many kerosene lamps like you're using in the shed. That's a good point. Hey. It, it keeps we, it keeps we, me nice and toasty. Are we right? gonna get a citation now? I'm not. I won't tell if you don't. I know it smells. Yeah, I feel like I'm back at the, the pizza cops. shop, standing in front of the oven right now. Jesus Christ! No, I like. Is, do you want me to turn it off? Is it too hot? No. You see my jacket still? I told you I run cold. I got you. <laughs> is that for the flame? It is. It is a little bright in here. It's lit up. But it's lovely. It's lovely. Just sleep. Pretend you're at the beach. (laughs) Yes. Oh, man. Now, that's the news I brought today for the damn podcast. (laughs) Nice. Are these just like the first three articles you find and that's it? (laughs) Or do you go through a handful? I I scroll a while. I try to pick ones that are not just about politics or like, like, I don't know, something goofy. Mm-hmm. Something that could spark a conversation. I would go through your junk folder. Those are always fun <laughs> things to read. <laughs> Damn. Bring those up on the show next time. I'll do it right now. Okay. Spam. Let's see. I have a lot of things from Art to Frames. What is that? Art to Frames is like a. Uh, it's essentially like an am- like a Amazon level, like eBay like eBay commerce store, where you can buy picture frames. Of like any any dimension that are wood and they're like stained like a color. It's they're they're cheap, but it's like if you need a if you need a frame for like a like a flyer or something you want to hang up that's like a cool color, you can pick like, oh I need a eleven by fourteen orange oh, okay. frame or some shit. 
Hmm. I don't know how they got my email, or they they still email me oh, to this man. day. Yep, I'm sure. Yeah, same thing. I'm like always like, why is browser sending me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. That doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Let's see. My jerkmate's been free. I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Do- download the app. You're like sexy frames dot fart. <laughs> <laughs> Poshmark, French Creek Racing, Strava, uh, LDB. More Poshmark, more Art to Frames, Claymont Steak Shop, Lululemon, Hotels.com, Spencer's, Link. Oh, what's, I would love to know what Spencer's is trying to contact you about. Um, we got this sick lava lamp. You're going to love it. Dude, I could use one right here. Mm. Reminder, friend, get $5 off and add free ship, shipping for your product review. Write a review now. Have concerns Did about a recent experience. Cochran? <laughs> I got somebody a blanket for Christmas from there. I kind of can't believe they're still in business. Honestly. I know. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, they're in every mall ever. I feel like they kill it. I feel like that's such an easy place to get stupid shit that like you'd be like, yeah, my dirty grandpa would love this shit. <laughs> it's like, hell no, I don't remember what the war was like, but damn, did I fuck my wife? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, shit, like, can, you, can you make, like, a shirts for the podcast that say exactly that? I, I don't sure remember will. what the war was like, but I damn sure fucked my wife. <laughs> like, they're always... Your like, grandmother? Yeah. My wife, comma, your grandmother. <laughs> your grandmother was a cum dumpster once. <laughs> Oh my god! That's the uh, that's a bumper sticker. Yeah, I mean, it's they would sell true. that. You had kids, so definitely she definitely was. It did. Sure right. It happened at least that time or those times. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, kids. Your grandma was a whore. It's like I wasn't worrying, but now I am. <laughs> now, Mike, you you went through this on your first time on the show. We also do a thing for first time guests. Where we try to get to know you guys a little bit. And this is a segment called Gripping Inquiries. Mm-hmm. What are you gripping? We're inquiring, and we're going to grip those. All right. Well, can I stand in front of the lamp for a while? Sure. <laughs> you want to switch seats? <laughs> stand in front of the lamp. <laughs> but um, normally we'll do... Tw- there are 12 of the hardest questions you'll ever be asked. But since there's two of you guys and we were a little short on Mandarin or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but since there's two of you guys, we did 18 of them and we combined them instead of doing 12 each. Okay. So I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll open the questions up for the room and let's get started. Let's see. Question number one is wood fire. A term made up so white dudes can sell burnt pizza to other white dudes for thirty-five dollars a pie. <laughs> mm, girls like it too. Damn. Enough. Yeah, you sexist piece of shit. <laughs> Shot holes in my fucking question. Den- Dennis wrote most of these. I wish he was here to ask him, but I'm sorry, I'm not good enough for you, Tom. I was gonna send them to you before, but I did- you were already you already braved the storm to come down here. Huh? This makes it more interesting with him with nothing to say. Having nothing to say. <laughs> I'm just here for snarky commentary, really. That's all I could ever and ask of anybody. Support. Question number two. Have you ever considered putting your pizza on a bagel so it can be enjoyed at any time? Mm. Dennis definitely wrote that one. What gives you that impression? <laughs> what, are we going to fold it up and, uh, and smash it between a bagel? It's like a bagel bite. We make an egg, uh, bacon, egg, and cheese pie sometimes. Wow. That's awesome. For those of you who forget breakfast. That would be me. Yeah. So you have not considered it? Nope. No, because it's stupid. Damn, that's oh. that's an incorrect yeah, I don't, answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jewish, and I know that that doesn't go on bagels, dude. <laughs> Pizza? Yeah. I don't know. I think anything can go on a bagel. That's, that's incorrect. What about a lox and schmear pizza? God though? damn, no. <laughs> I would eat that, but no one else. Like a wrong. like a caper, lox, and fucking. Dude, I put anchovies on pizza, and the only people eating that are over seventy every time. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. me, <laughs> and and God. harbor seals. <laughs> yeah. I I still have never had an anchovy. Damn, you're fucking. Awful. To this day, yeah, like, I, do you guys like Caesar dressing? I love Caesar dressing. I fucking love anchovies. You wouldn't if you don't like Caesar dressing. That's a good point. Damn. Yeah. Maybe. 
Mm, maybe you just turned me. Dude, it's Max. All right, here's a skateboarding question. Question number three. Who starred in the blockbuster movies such as Behind Enemy Lines, Disney's Cars 1, 2, and 3, and Zoolander, as well as the 2003 girl video, Yeah, Right? Owen Wilson. That's correct. Wow. That would, that would be Owen Cunningham Wilson, the self the self proclaimed Hollywood troublemaker. <laughs> Owen Wilson. When did he say that? It's on his IMDb. Oh, self. Wow. Well, it's got to be true. <laughs> 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 to which I say, wow. Also, W A O W. Where did I get you? Uh, the, I don't, the, the was it a mug? Oh, it was a, a koozie, a beer koozie with Owen Wilson just saying, wow. <laughs> That's cool. So we made a skate edit too with him doing a uh, back salad, front salad, front, front salad, front back front salad, salad, front blunt. blunt. Yeah. yeah, it was sick. Yeah. Question number four: Did you know Heinrich Himmler was the first person to shorten pizza to za? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. <laughs> That's a correct answer as well. <laughs> so that that question lets you get to know me on a more intimate level. mm Hmm. Okay. Some of the hardest hitting questions that yeah. you ever mm -hmm. asked. Mm -hmm. Question number, what was that, four? Question number five. What gave you the arrogance and the balls to think that you could cut, you could out pizza the hut? <laughs> uh, it was hard without the salad bar, but. Damn. Yeah, once I get rid That's of the dining room, you yeah. know, they were like yeah. sitting ducks. Yeah, do you guys have a salad bar? Nah, we, we make you one salad a season and you, got, you better like it. Or wow. You're getting it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, a couple times ago I got the wedge. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it seems like you've. It's been a while since you were in then, huh? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. We've gone through what two more salads since then? Yeah. No. Yeah, we're on our <laughs> cutest one yet, dude. It's got like beets and oranges. And the cutest beans. one yet. <laughs> yeah. Cute ass salad. Let's see. Question. Here's here's one. Why is there a sign above your counter that says "Android users not welcome"? Because androids are people too. I don't <laughs> that is incorrect. It's because they are green textures and nobody likes that crap. <laughs> mm. Mm. Green bubble textures. Mm. That's a, good point. a little more skateboarding trivia. What year was the kickflip invented? I don't know, but god damn. 81? I, Can I, I was going to say probably 82. Wow. It actually was 1982 by Rodney Mullen. See? Well, Mikey gets the steal, but that is the correct answer still for well, you Well, he guys. stepped on me. I said it first. So. You said 81. I know. He stepped on me to 82. I, I he prices prices righted, righted you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yep. I was like, what's the last year? Cool. After that. Mm -hmm. Question number eight. Seriously, though, Pizza Hut has a dessert pizza called a <laughs> treatza, and you still think you can out-pizza them? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What's your yeah. dessert pizza game like at the moment? We've got Stonuts right now, dude. Whoa. Yeah. What are they like? Mill Donuts, a.k.a. Oh, Puff Daddy. Uh, funny story. We were going to call them Puff Daddies, and then I literally went, got an email about Puff Daddy's, you know, little nonsense that he's always up to <laughs> in the recent... Diddy times. did something. Mm -hmm. yeah. He made donuts. <laughs> he diddied little kids or something. I don't know. Or who knows yeah, what he did, but whatever he did, it wasn't yeah. good yeah. for business. Yeah. Diddly, more like diddly, because mm -hmm. yeah. he's a diddler. When skating, ever hit a rock? Yep. That shit sucks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put my board back in the room. I haven't touched it in 15 years. <laughs> my complete that I picked everything out. I think I did the exact same thing. So that's a correct answer as well. Uh, is, is, is the argument of trans athletes being allowed to compete in the Olympics just an updated version of the argument on whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza? <laughs> Pineapple does belong on pizza, though. That's totally different. So we'll leave it up to you to decipher that one. I'm going to go correct because I agree with that sentiment. I love pineapples and I like them on pizza, too. Me, yeah, too. And that stone milk pizza, we cut them bitches fresh, dude. Mm -hmm. The like, pineapples like or you the pe trans? You peel the, <laughs> the pineapple. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. You peel the skin off and cut it right there on the spot. Yeah, if there was a trans person trying to play sports in there, we'd support, I'd rub their feet or something. <laughs> That's really nice. And that's an actually. offer no one else will make. Yeah. I've that's, never heard anyone else make that offer That's yet. actually very nice He's and thoughtful. He's got a foot fetish, though. He's always talking All about these athletes. Hey, 
We don't yuck his yum, okay? Yeah. No. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and, dude, All honestly, these... I'm ready to see the trans MMA matches already. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see that that's going to be a full-on thing. Yeah. <laughs> dude, uh, I think this is question fucking who knows 10 or 11 have you considered rolling up a pizza and calling it a guido burrito <laughs> you can have that idea if i can have 50 percent off card uh card for life i'm not greedy again this is the dennis one right yeah yeah well, well it depends are you gonna drive him there every day <laughs> that's a fucking great <laughs> god damn that's a correct answer yeah i'm not gonna do all this if he's not gonna drive over himself does dennis have the pizza no Oh, he's I don't think so. Did and I? he lives right over here. Yeah, I'm glad he hasn't come in yet. <laughs> That's probably why. Is that why you're standing in today? He's yeah. too nervous to ask these questions he's too directly scaled. to us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, <laughs> you're like the hot girl at the dance, and he like is afraid to ask. He's sh- <laughs> teed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ever make a pizza while ha- whilst having a huge boner? It happens. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Dude, sometimes you just get worked up. Mm-hmm. And you got you got job to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm always telling Danny to stand closer to the counter because he can barely reach the pizza half the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's fair. like, I can't help it. His fucking brajol is sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're getting Capricola all over the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Ever? Let's see. I said, if skateboarding is so cool, how come Airbud hasn't done it? Oh, that's a great one. Didn't Airbud do it? No, that was the. Uh, that was MVP, the most vertical primate. Not Airbud. Oh. Because Airbud, oh, Airbud's yeah. a jock, dude. All right. Damn. Yeah. That's a correct would, fucking answer right there. Mm. That is 110% correct. I think that makes up for any incorrect answer so far. Have we had any of those? Besides the date the kicker was made? Well, I, know, I know who did the first one. Yeah. It was Rodney Mullen. Rodney 1982, Mullen. That's what I said. It was Air Bud. <laughs> Is there a coincidence that Vlad Putin rhymes with Fruit Putin? <laughs> mm, also whack. Putin free. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. I'd consider that correct. Uh, yesterday, I discovered that my dog is a Zionist. What did I do? This is, what did I do? What do I do about that? I asked him if he wanted to come with us on a car ride and uh, aid in the Palestinian genocide, and he went like this and turned his head away. <laughs> what do I do about that? I... Is this your dog? Mm-hmm. The one you just saw earlier Elliot? today. Yep. That one. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I, I witnessed it. I wrote this question down immediately. That dog is a fucking atheist. I know it. Oh, he, he probably does deny a lot of... A lot of silly things like that. I'm going to give that a correct answer, too. This is a question Dennis will appreciate, maybe. Uh, socks and then pants on, or pants on and then socks? Socks and pants. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Me, too. Correct fucking answer. I put my underwear on last, though. But, so, but... <laughs> <laughs> you put it through the, the zipper of your, yeah. of your pants. <laughs> you Sometimes I put it, it through. <laughs> no, I put it over my head. <laughs> And it work it down. Wait. Yeah, under my shirt. Socks before pants, huh? For both of you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Why? So that you can have them pulled up to the right height, and you don't have to fucking worry about it later, as long as they don't, like, bunch up while you... How long are the socks that you're it's wearing? counterproductive, though, to put your pants on, then roll your pants up just to throw socks on. Yeah. That Everyone too. is... Everything is always moving up in that way. Yeah. Your okay. socks move up, stop. Pants move up, stop. Mm. You're doing extra work. Well, I always wear one of those 1920 uh, garters that hold my socks up. So this is just not a problem I have, but it's all right. It's fine. That's why you get blood rush when you do that. (laughs) 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 Okay. And uh, let's see. Ever see a no skateboarding sign and been like, I ain't reading all that? (laughs) Yeah, like I told you, Danny doesn't like school. That includes reading. Yeah, Does I that just, include rules too? Just, yeah. yeah, rules, reading. I mean, I'm skating. Fucking thumbs down. Dude, in Canada, <laughs> if there was a no tobogganing fucking rule, I'm tobogganing. You're like, dude. nah, cuz. You better believe it. Cops are going to have to kick me out. That's a correct fucking answer. I ain't reading all that either. And finally, the uh, last question. Finish this Sex Pistols lyric. <laughs> I am a fire, you're gasoline. Come pour yourself all over me. 
well, <laughs> let this pl- we'll let this place go down in flames only one more time. Are you going to stay the night? Are you going to stay the night? So, oh, oh. Isn't that Haley Williams? <laughs> sounds like Sex Pistols to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's Johnny Rotten if I ever. It definitely sounds like the Zed song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck, dude. Can you finish the lyric? Sure, but uh, <clears throat> my voice is a little. You don't have to sing it. Yeah, I'd, ra- I'd rather sing it, though. Okay, so what is it? I just said my voice isn't where it should oh, be. Oh man! Can you read the lyrics one more time. I'm a fire. You're gasoline. Come pour yourself all over me. We'll let this place go down in flames. Only one more time. Are you gonna stay the night? Are you gonna stay the night? So, oh, oh. Dude, can you play the Haley Williams and Dead song? I swear to God, it's the same song. <laughs> it's it's, it's Sex Pistols, dude. I'm telling you right this now. This is for sure, Jonathan Rotten. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, I'm telling you, I swear that's the same lyrics in my head. I'm like in the same song. <laughs> I'm not even messing around, dude. So finish it then. Yeah. Yeah, no, it all. You seem to know she it. She just says, are you going to stay the night again? Then like the techno comes on. That is the correct answer. She does. <laughs> that is the correct lyric. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. That i like, I couldn't even like listen. To, like, I was like, that's not possible. That Oh, <laughs> Oh my God! It is the Sex Pistols featuring Haley Williams. Oh yeah, I forgot they did a collab. Mm-hmm. Egg uh, on egg on my face. Mm. I was right. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct, dude. I know her body and her songs are great. <laughs> her, her body of work. I, that I know is. her body of work. Yeah, mm-hmm. there it is. She's the most talented person of our entire generation, without a doubt. Yeah, that sounds a lot to me like a perfect score. Wow, good job, guys. Yep, uh, first well time done. on the pod too. Hmm. And thank God, because we have had people from Delaware bomb that that uh, that segment. Who did the worst on that segment? Do you think all time? Unequivocally, Lennon from Dudes <laughs> Doing Movies. He oh, did yeah? it so bad. What does he, that have to do with being out. from Delaware? I don't recall you asking. Tyler Mullen fucked it up too. Or no, 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 not Tyler. Somebody else from Delaware. I will never besmirch besmirch Tyler again. That's my mistake. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. If I were you. But. No, Tyler was the first person who got the E-Town Concrete lyrics right. Oh. Uh-huh. And he wasn't from Jersey either. Mm. He's from right here. Got it. No, no, no. Wyatt got the E-Town Concrete uh, lyrics right. Well, Wyatt, Wyatt couldn't even see through his sunglasses. Yeah. Dude, while you're talking about Tyler Mullen, I used to love on his Instagram where it would just be like a tr- like solo drum kit like on his like gram. It's just like him blasting his drums so mm-hmm. fucking hard. I'm like... Damn, he fucking rules, dude. Yeah, he still does that to this day. I just I in real see, life. Yeah, I just want to see the clips, like of him just terrorizing it at his house. <laughs> I don't want to see him like with his bad. I just want to see solo him, no good acoustics, and just blasting. <laughs> just that that room dude, in yeah, his basement. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the white sorry, ass room. Mom, you're not getting any sleep tonight. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love the videos he would post from the switch bathroom, punching the Lars on the wall. <laughs> The last the the last time I used that bathroom, I did the same thing, and, and I I just I took a video of myself punching it and sent it to Tyler, and he was like, "Fuck that, dude." <laughs> he also hosts the best kickball game of the year, ever. <sighs> or not kickball, dodgeball. I'm sorry, it's dodgeball, and they have like a meetup time, and a bunch of people show up. Uh-huh. And get dusted. I've I've Damn. I've been to one or two of them a long time ago. It was a great time though. Yeah. It, we, he did one. Um, at Olan Thomas behind um, Cleveland Avenue, like in this, like the summer after the pandemic or something. And I was like, oh, we get to go outside and hang out with our friends. I would love to do that. It was great. Yeah. Tyler fucking rules. He does rule. That thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That, thank you. This Tyler also, also rules. Yeah. I agree. Jinx, you me a beer. I got you. Now. You guys don't play in bands. No. You you whizzing? Yeah. You guys don't play in bands, but you are familiar with how weird Euros are, right? Europeans? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Well you're versed in you're versed enough in music that I I thought it appropriate to bring this segment to the show too. Now there are a lot of bands out there, right? And there are a lot of bands with really stupid band names. Mm-hmm. And sometimes 
some of the worst names you've ever heard come from our brothers and sisters over over the over the seas from Europe. So I have a list here of twenty of the stupidest band names I could possibly find with the help of Encyclopedia Metallum. Uh, honestly, some of Dennis's actual CD collection at his house from the 90s. And I put together a list of 20 of them, right? So you have to tell me just by the name if they are or are not from from Europe. Okay. And but they're all bands. They're all real bands okay. with releases and everything. And uh, I do have genres too, if that can like help you uh, uh, make a decision. And I have, uh, if, if you can guess if they are, like yes or no, are or are not from Europe correctly, you get a point. And if they're not from Europe and you can't, you can guess where they're from, like if they're from Boise or like Bolivia or I don't know, fucking Australia or something, you also get a bonus point. Mm, okay. You remember the rules of Is It Euro, correct? Oh, yeah. I just explained it to them. This is called Is It Euro. Mikey doesn't know any of these either, so you guys are all playing against each other. Nice. And I think I lost my pen. That's good. No, I didn't. There it is. You ready? Ready to start? Shut up, Fletcher. Let's do it. That's the neighbor's dog. Mm. Boo. Mentally ill. Just mentally ill. No. <laughs> no. No. That's American, dude. So not your not Euro. Not Euro. Not Euro. Not Euro? What do you think, Tyler? No. They are Euros. Mm. Hold on. Does Europe include Great Britain? Yes. In this? That's okay. that's the United Kingdom nowadays. I have a huge map right there not to for me. a reference. No, I point. know where it is. I've been there. I'm just saying some people don't refer to that as like European. Oh, because they're not in the European Union anymore. Mm. For the sake of the game, yeah. Has, been, has Brexit happened in the theoretical? <laughs> I've I the Euro universe. I yet? still include them on the Euro side just because. See, I, I always have. Euro then, mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought well, they were British. They're British, right? They are Euros. But I it can guess where they're from. Yes, you can. You can take another whack at it and get a bonus and get a point Wait, if you can so, guess where they're but from. But now I know it's in Europe. Uh huh. And I can still get a point. If you can guess where they are from, oh, yeah. Okay. Mentally ill. They're a melodic death metal band. Ooh. Two things that should never go together. Sweden. Yeah, Norway. I'm going up there. Uh, Finland. They're from, keep it all Scandinavian. Everybody's pretty... That's true. Everyone's pretty close. They're from Germany. Mm. Damn, I was going to say Germany. Grinding Jesus Brothers. Oh, that rules. <laughs> it is not a bad name. Not Euro. No, not Euro. I'm no. going to list them. If I say I'm going to list them on the Patreon, patreon.com slash IRR and ILL, we listen to these, these bands. So if a band if a band name really sticks out, I'll add it to the master list. And then on the Patreon, like through this thing, we'll actually listen to it live on the air on the episode. So I want to hear what grinding Jesus brothers sounds like. Mm. And everyone says not Euro. Not Euro. Mm -hmm. They are also Euros. Mm. Grinding Jesus. So what do you think? Austria. Ooh. They're grind core. If that helps. United <laughs> kingdom. There's two fucking countries side by side. They're sick. Um, like <laughs> like what he can't I he can't, can't see very well i can't no i, can't, I got glasses <laughs> on it's, it's right underneath algeria and libya it's those two together are sick oh niger and chad yeah that's africa bro i'm talking about europe no i know i'm just looking at it. i was like trying to look in europe and i just those words stand out real easy for me i'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fuck yeah dude we're talking about Grinding Jesus Brothers. So you you said what? Uh, Austria. You said Austria. And who else? Who else has guesses? Uh, what I happened? just said England. Yeah. Everyone says UK. Oh, Slovakia, actually. Um, Natural Selection Agency. Not Euro. Not not Euro. Everyone gets a point. They are not. 
And we get a bonus point now if I guess. If you can guess, guess, if you if you can guess the locale that they are from, you did get Say another point. Natural. Selection. Natural selection agency. Uh, that's definitely uh, Dover, Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> Dover, Delaware. <laughs> Dover, Delaware. <laughs> Colombia. That does count. It's not Europe. Uh, uh, Brazil. South America has come up before. You sticking with Dover, Delaware? Mexico. <laughs> Another good guess. They are from. It's close. They're from San Rafael, California. Mm. Mm. So you, again, Price is Right rules. You would have gotten something. Yeah. Have a nice day. Not euro. Not, not. They're definitely not. Not euros. That's a black metal. Black metal. I was initially going to say Asia. But I don't know if they have black metal there. I don't know if that's insane. It is few and far between from over there. Have a nice day. It's all punctuated and spelled correctly and everything. No funky shit. Sometimes there's like unnecessary umlauts and stuff, but mm -hmm. nah. Just, just have a nice just day. Just legitimately have a nice day. Indonesia. Canada. Australia. Mexico. It finally came up. Let's see. Number five. Lassie the cat. No, America. Euro. Uh, not, not Euro. Tyler gets a point. They are Euro. Fuck. <laughs> they are from Europe. Um, that is definitely an Estonian band. Ooh, that's a good fucking guess. French. Fonts. It Italy. I think Tyler was closest. They're from Latvia. Hmm. It just seems to me that it's Latvia right is close to Estonia. It just yeah, I it's feel, right under it. Okay, I yeah. I felt it in my bones. Uh, pretty suicide. Ooh. Mm. Uh, is this a screamo band? They are heavy slash thrash slash groove metal. Why though? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard them yet. Euro. Euro. No. Tyler, correct again. They are United not. United States. California. Iowa. <laughs> oh, you have to say a specific state? No, it doesn't. It, it, in the United States, we can kind of narrow it down, but anywhere else is kind of free reign because we're not, like, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not familiar with every state of every other, every other nation. They're from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, do you want me to give you a state still? Is that sure. What at? Uh, Florida. They're from Australia, anyway. Oh. You should have you saved it for that one. Fuck. Asshole sleeper. These, def that, it's definitely Russian. I'm not sure if it's in Europe or... We determined Russia is not Europe. Okay, so there's, I'm say not... There's like a there's like a, a chunk of it that kinda is, but I I just say not for okay, all so of Russia. No, Europe. and that's my guess. So not Europe. Not not. Europe. Everyone says not. Yeah. Everyone gets a point. They're not. So. <laughs> Fucking Alex Gibbs said the exact same thing when he was on here. Really? That's hilarious. Yeah, right. It's right there between China and Russia. I wonder what Kazakh music sounds like. I would love to know. Kazakhstan, I know you're a listener. <laughs> Send us your music. Uh, Ukraine. Kazakhstan. What did you say, Tyler? I forget. Russia. Russia. They're from Ohio. That's kind of, that's Kazakhstan of America. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, the they, call, they call it the Kazakhstan of America. I would rather be in Kazakhstan than fucking Ohio most of the time. Uh, yeah, Boris probably. From, right? Huh? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. That's why I like that name. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The Stallions of the Burning Church. Euro. <laughs> yeah. You're, Europe. Yeah. They're from Norway or something. Europe. They are not. They're American. See, this is harder than it seems. U.S. United States. Specifically okay. Ohio. Okay. <laughs> yeah. United States. What do you think? Like what state? Yeah, just any. any. Um, you know what? 
going to say California. What is, what's the band again? The Stallions of the Burning Church. Oh, God. Florida. They are from the Philippines. That's in the United States. <laughs> no, no it's, it's way over there. We added them. They were, <laughs> we traded uh, Georgia for them. <laughs> Take it. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Harry Pussy. Mm, definitely I went to European. school with that guy. <laughs> European and France. That's my guess. You what do you say, Mikey? Uh, Euro or nay? Euro or nay? The UK again. I forget if we're counting so, that as Europe. Everyone says Euro. They are Europe's, Europe's Euros. So you say the UK? UK. Same. France. France. They are from Poland. Mm. Mm. That's a good name too. <laughs> Cherry pussy. <laughs> No, Poland. Sounds fucking sick. No wonder they love Harry Pussy. Ass Chapel. Oh, mm. That rules. <laughs> no. That's, uh, I don't know, but. Not. I, that's been sent to me on like a browser thing before. <laughs> uh, I'm an ex hamster man myself. Yeah, honestly, I'm. I'm whatever. I use Google and just find exactly what I'm looking for. Fuck, um, you don't fuck around. Nope. Sure. No, nah, yeah, I'm getting right to the point. I'm like, he's a busy man. Uh huh. You got shit to, you got fucking pies to make. You're like, I don't care who knows my ass chapel stuff. It's not private browsing either. No. Yeah. He says, fuck it, dude. I, dude, they know. They can see your shit, dude. You yeah. What private. do you, what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, Euro and definitely Egypt. <laughs> wow. <That's okay. laughs> Egypt is in yeah. Africa. Same shit. Hold on. It's not. Uh, uh, no, let me read, let me Southern read Europe. Uh, not Europe because it's in Africa, which is Egypt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? What was your answer? Uh, what What is it? Ass Chapel? Ass Chapel? Uh, Europe. The Tyler gets the point because they're not Euros. I just said that. I said in Africa, obviously. You said Europe, but then Afri- Africa is in and Europe and in Egypt. It. That's when I changed I'll it. give you a point anyway, because you said not. Fuck. So where are they from th- for real, though? Ass Chapel. Ass Chapel is funny. It's definitely somebody I don't like going to church. Australia. That does sound like an Australia-ass thing. Well. Or Greece. Don't Greeks like anal? <laughs> I think Greece is in Europe. Oh, then I changed my answer back again, even though I know you said it was wrong. <laughs> no. I know you said it's not, but I want to change my mind. I give up, yeah. Wait, where did you hear that Greeks like anal? Is that a thing that everybody knows about? That well, I, I used just... to play rugby. They used to <laughs> talk about Greeks loving anal. Really? Yeah, and we had like two Greek dudes on our team. And they're like, oh, they love anal. Wow. And then they'd also say crazy shit like this band, but they would say like, Church of Fudge, like just screaming it, dude, like. <laughs> They would be like, "Run my gape," and that was like a play. Like, okay. it was crazy. Rugby so, was so you're going with Greece. Yeah. <laughs> Note to self: Hang G-R-E-A-S-E. out with R E A S E. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the U S. again. I'm hoping that hits at some point. Australia. Oh right, they're from Nashville, Tennessee. I think they're like a offshoot of Whitechapel because mm-hmm. they're also from. Well, they're from. Uh, Another part of Tennessee or something. That is a funny name. We're halfway through. Thank God, right? A- uh, Air Sumatra. Europe. Not Europe. Not Europe. That's correct. They are not Euros. And that's one word, Air Sumatra. It's like an airline. Saudi Arabia. Indonesia. Both good guesses. But not good enough, Danny. What is it? Egypt. They are from Russia. Fuck. <laughs> wow, I didn't even mean to do this. Lunatics without skateboards incorporated. Mm. U.S. Mexico. So no, no and Mexico. Not, not. Not. They are Euros. Mm. Poland. Australia. Australia, Poland. <laughs> Australia, also not Europe, but... He said Austria. You... Austria. Yeah. God. Uh, he, he rolls his... <laughs> L's even when they're not in. Fuck, dude. This map doesn't even make sense, dude. There is not flat. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is it a rectangle, too? That's dude, bullshit. All the fucking this is real fucking big. It's like a piss, too, dude. <laughs> uh, 
At least I can make some a pizza, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, yeah. It's good for some. Did we, did we all give our answers? I think so. Right? Yeah. yeah. They're from the Netherlands. Nobody got it. Mosquito control. Mm, Ethiopia. <laughs> I'm going to say no and... No, no. I'm saying yeah. Yeah. Did you already say Ethiopia? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to piggyback that one. Okay. I'm saying Texas, United States. Well, they are not Euro, and they are from New Zealand. Let's mm. go, dude. I got it right somewhat. <laughs> you got it half right. Fuck yeah. Oh, th- these are all, like, I, I think about this, like, have you, you've never, both of you have never participated in a band in any way. No, I mean, I play music, but I don't... Well, think about, like, you have to get f- four people together. You mm-hmm. get, like, oh, let's let's do this day. You have to drive to a practice space. You have to, like, make sure that shit turns on. And you have to write songs. And, like, oh, you play in a band. What's your band called? So yeah. you're saying all th- four of them agree to this. Right. That's I, th- what, that's I what think about by. that. I think about that whole mm-hmm. process. You have to explain it to your girlfriend's family. <laughs> like, no, it's like, oh, I can't make it to the christening. I've asked chapel practice. <laughs> that's like, there's this one, uh, kind of reminds me like, like a somewhat psychedelic, but very hard, like motorhead sounding band. It's called Pigs, 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 Pigs. It's they like were seven. on this oh, list yeah, before. Yeah. yeah. They're, they, they, they rip, but I took it off my phone because i couldn't it's, stand <laughs> looking at that word repeated so many it's times. too silly yeah. that that legitimately has been on this game before yeah that band name that's they hilarious. rip though the dude They're wears like a- the dude danny does muay thai and this dude wears muay thai shorts when he performs by the way that's hard singer but he looks like like i don't even know he's got like mutton chops and like a fucking jesus yeah he's crazy looking that maybe don't know like it looks like half a lemmy yeah, yeah. They're like kind of big, right? Like, I think so. Like uh, they were on like KEXP Live or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, that's like, where I saw it. Audio he was wearing those shorts. Yeah. <laughs> this dude who trains at my gym has a band too, and it's called the Bladder Nuts. That's, oh, yeah. that's a really good fucking name. That's a great name. <laughs> Every time he says it to me, he looks like with this like pretentious like kind of smile. He's like, yeah, I know it's sick. <laughs> he's, like, he's supposed to be funny, but in no good way. And like it is every time. I'm like, that's sick, dude. He, he fucking ate when he made that name. Dude. Yeah. That's, that's the thing I feel like people don't think about is like when you name a band, like naming a band is my least favorite thing to do in the entire world. Cause no matter if, if it's a good name or whatever, you're going to hate it by some point. That's true. Just because it's, it's something you make, good. you get self-conscious about it. You're like, nah, fuck that name. Yeah. And people are like, no, nah, it's a fine name. And you're like, you're just saying that because you're not in. Yeah. Like, you don't you don't understand yeah, yeah, yeah. the artist's plight. I thought every band name I had was dumb too until I was in Drowse. That band ruled. Yeah. I got to say. I, f- I feel like you either have a good band name at the beginning or you spend the rest of your career or time in the in the band just hating the fucking name mm-hmm. it's like you usually start with a good name first or it's just you it's kiss your sister you know <laughs> dude when do they practice <laughs> not your own let's, let's see one two three. oops one two four we only have a couple more oh shit they're going to kill us oh that rules euro <laughs> mm. not euro euro mikey gets it they are not Australian. Thrash metal slash crossover. Florida. Solid guess. A lot of shit come. A lot of bullshit comes from there. I don't know. Uh, Australia. Not two Australians. They're from Franklin, Pennsylvania. Uh, Where's Franklin? I'm look. I'm mapping it as we speak. It is so far west; it's almost in Ohio. Mm-hmm. I always forget how big Pennsylvania is. Pennsylvania is Humongous. too big. Yeah, it's half of it should uh, secede. Uh, yes, I, I don't, I don't fuck with that side of the state. Largely, it takes too fucking long to get through. Mm-hmm. Do you guys like Pittsburgh? Nah, I don't. I don't yeah, I I've never even. Down. I've never been. Oh, really? I've only been uh, once. I could take it or I've leave it. I've been near it, but I got that Pittsburgh steak, don't I? 
I got, I've I've had a lot of steak in a lot of places. I could I could leave Pittsburgh. Well, actually, that's bullshit because I did have a great steak in Pittsburgh once when I was younger. Mm-hmm. At this some fucking restaurant that's on top of this hill, and you can look down and see a lot of shit. The it was good. Town. Yeah, the fucking skeleton of a steel city. Let's see, corporate death burger. Uh, what are they grindcore? Not Euro. Thrash metal. Yeah. Not Euro. What's the, what does it say it again? Corporate death burger. Hmm. I'm gonna say Euro. Not Euro. Uh, Tyler gets that one. They are Euros. You're really good at. Th- Have you been practicing, dude? He's He's slaying this game. I got here a little early. I have to go over that <laughs> clipboard. I'll pick the place. It's Chad. <laughs> Corporate Death Burger. Corporate Death Burger. That's Norwegian. Uh, not Euro is what we land on? Well, they are Euro. Oh, they are Euro. Uh, Hungary. No, Tyler hit the nail on the fucking head. They are Norwegian. Damn. God, I got to mix these up so you guys don't know. I think I'm cheating. Yeah, seriously. Sorry. You gotta pick and choose the correct, yeah. correct answers. Severe dementia. America, uh, not Euro. Not Euro. Not Euro. Not Euro. Everyone gets that when they're not. Severe dementia. Not Euros. Mm, I'm gonna say Seattle. I'm gonna list them. I want to hear them. Seattle, Washington. Okay. Sounds like a Mexican band to me. Mexico. That's just my guess. Uh, um, Ecuador. They're from Bangladesh. Damn. That's why I listed them. I got to hear what that sounds like. I like the first four letters of that. Please. <laughs> Bang. Ga- 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 Galactic Tyrannosaur. France. Euro. Euro. Not, yeah, Euro. Everyone says Euro? They're mm. not. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Terrible at this game. Galactic T- Tyrannosaur. Indonesia. One of these days, I'm going to get it right. <laughs> Kazakhstan. <laughs> Philippines. They are from Kentucky. Oh, God. I didn't see that one coming either. Don't worry. We only got three more. Molest. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, Mikey couldn't make it to Thanksgiving this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> His yeah. band has a gig. Awesome. How's how's Michael's band doing? What are, what are they called? What are they called again? Yeah, <laughs> mm, that's a tough one. I want to say it's American because I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it's Euro. Not Euro, and I'm going Canada. Uh, not Euro. You guys both get that right. They are not Euro. Mm. Do you have a guess as to where they are from? Uh, Philippines. Danny got a bonus point on that one. They are from fucking Canada. It pays off. I was going to say Chad, too. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, last two. Can you imagine the types of douches that live there? (laughs) Dude, they're probably so stuck up. It's just all salmon shirts and and shorts. Everyone's dad's a lawyer and no one's not getting sued there, dude. (laughs) It's a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, lettuce on the burger. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Oh, watch my fucking gluten, dude. Yeah. All right, last two. The bitch in the van. Not Euro. Not Euro. They are Euro. UK. Yeah, that sounds UK. Austria. England, specifically. Specifically England. Uh, Austria, you said? Yeah. They are from the Netherlands. Oh. Mm. Those are the freaky deaky Dutch, dude. Mm-hmm. And last one, thorn in your eye. Euro. Not Euro. Philippines. Not Euro. Danny gets it again. They are Euro. Pretty but good. where? Dude, already that's, guessed Philippines. I that's easy. Netherlands. <laughs> Finland, dude. Tyler? I already said uh, Philippines before you said no to it. <laughs> you don't want to take a European no. guess? Uh, well, I can, sure. Thorn in my ass. Thorn, thorn in your eye. Thorn in your eye. <laughs> nice. I don't know, Italian. Italy. They're from Germany. Anyway, also an Axis power, though. All right. Tyler wins with 12 points. Wow. And Mike, oh, Danny and Mike tie with nine points. 
Do you want to do a, a, no. a tiebreaker nope. for second <laughs> nope. place? Nope. You don't care? Nope. I was going to. I, 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 I You recuse concede. yourself? Yeah, I can see. Wait, I'll ask the question. What's your favorite Zed and Haley Williams doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, airplanes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, that was another painful but fun rendition of this uh is it euro i almost called it the wrong fucking thing jesus christ you want to get into the homework yeah sure did he have to do the homework i sent it to him very last minute nice well so uh here's how this particular one went uh but yeah i i didn't actually uh read any of the homework or go through any of the homework so typically what happens is uh, nice fuck school right exactly because i'm exactly um so uh, dennis and and uh and tom go over the homework and then they talk about it on the pod i didn't know about the homework until just before i got here mm-hmm. so i'm not actually reviewing the homework i'm reviewing dennis's review did of you bring a homework. note from your parents <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he so, brought a note from dennis actually yeah i brought uh, a note from- <laughs> elliot, did elliot eat your homework so i'm gonna so anyway homework yes yeah so uh yeah so every, every <laughs> Every podcast, you guys share homework, mm-hmm. and then you talk about it. But I didn't know about it um, so, until very, very recently today. So instead of reviewing the homework, I am reviewing Dennis's review of the homework. Uh huh. <laughs> so it, you can start off, and then uh, I will. I'm going to read for Dennis, and then I'm going to critique Dennis. Let's see. I assigned him two records and a comedy special. Yeah, so start with the comedy special. Mm -hmm. I assigned him uh, Gary Goleman's new special on HBO called uh, 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 Born on Third Base. Mm -hmm. Now, what did did Dennis have to say about that? Uh, So he said, uh, Serial and... It it seems like he was pretty critical of this. Serial and Pop-Tart joke... Z, 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 Z. So I imagine that's like snore. snore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So cer- cereal and pop, pop Again, tart joke. Yeah. Snore. Banana Republic joke. Snore. Suffix joke. Snore. Shark Tank. Snore. Seinfeld joke. Snore. Appli- appliance joke. Snore. Jews don't play hockey. Snore. Which sounds funny to me. I don't know what that <laughs> bit was about. Um, Chipotle joke. Snore. Pipe cleaner jokes. I'm only halfway through. Fuck me. Two out of ten. And two is strictly <laughs> out of respect for his longevity. Dude, G- Gary G- uh, Goldman has been in the game for a long time. He's a legend. So that I, is true. So I you're talking about Gary Oldman. That dude's no, crazy. no, you should hear his. He's, his he's another. <laughs> no, Gary Goldman is fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's a legend. I'm pushing back on that review. I thought that special was really fucking funny, especially like the second half of it. Yeah. Uh, when when I when I watched it, I always try. Like we have to assign each other shit that we've actually checked out. Mm-hmm. We can't like just go in blind and be like, "Oh, check this out and review it." Well, it mm-hmm. sounds like he didn't watch the second half. He was only halfway through and he was tired of it. Is that what I? No, it's no, possible. That's, that's uh, yeah, that's Dennis. <laughs> yeah, he didn't watch the whole thing. So my review of Dennis's review. Um, hey, Dennis, why are you so sleepy? What was the comedy <laughs> special at the top of a staircase? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you give him a friggin' break? He's a legend. <laughs> Writing jokes is tough. Also, where do, why do you wear a hat inside all the time? Seems uncouth. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Gary Goldman. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Gary Goldman had a great career and also the articulation of his name. <laughs> Top of a staircase. Yeah, <laughs> Crushed me, good. dude. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. I, I, also, I, signed, I signed him two records that are both very different from each other. And the first one is a Youth Attack Records band called Civilized, and the record is called Chopping Block. Yeah, I don't know why he called it Chopping Blocks, but... I don't know. So he said, uh, one of the choruses sound like a bunch of dudes yelling, Tim Meadows. <laughs> That's what's up. It's fast. It's got fart bass, skank beats, and hollering. Eight out of ten. Sick. <laughs> yeah, youth, youth Attack puts out pretty much only cool stuff. Yeah. Um, so my review of Dennis's review, uh, I said, Dennis's review was short, sweet, and to the point. Props for making me think about Tim Meadows. I hope he's doing well. Do you guys think he's made more money now from his appearances on Mean Girls than the rest of his career? 
Oh. Do you think he regrets <laughs> Ladies Man? Not the money or the quality of the movie itself. More so just the inherent pigeonholing that comes with making a recurring SNL character into a movie. Also, why does Lorne Michaels talk like that? I like youth attack stuff, and I thought this record was fun. 8.5 out of 10. I tend to agree. I would have given it that same uh, score. That record rips. Yeah. And then I also I assigned him a very opposite of that record called Script of the Bridge by the band The Chameleons. It's like 80s, like late 80s, early 90s, like not new wave, but still like black coffee, clove cigarette smoking goth music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like... Uh, what would you call it? Post punk. Well, here's a uh, here's what uh, Dennis said of it. Oh, sure, um, sure. Yeah. So he said, uh, first song is hella aggro, but the rest is kind of just run of the mill goth jams. Not a bad listen, but not very memorable. Pretty sure these bands all have the same singer, but this drummer actually knows more than two fills, so that's cool. Uh, do spooky kids only <laughs> like that one tempo? <laughs> Figured with all that black coffee that and well? nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> Figured with all that black coffee and nicotine, they'd want uh, something a bit faster occasionally. 6.5 out of 10. What do you think, Tom? Uh, uh, they, well, that band does, like, I saw them a couple months ago in uh, Ardmore, and they played only like, uh, they played a, they played like three songs off that record, only the best ones, and they have a record that is like, it's essentially a greatest hits album, which I would have assigned him first, but I wanted to assign him an actual release yeah. of theirs. So I, I kind of agree, but like he, Dennis, when Dennis listens to music, he listens with non musician ears. Mm. And that's a very different experience from how I listen to bands. So I don't know. I don't disagree. I don't agree or disagree with it. So I have to go. I have to say, Fuck it. I agree with him. Six and a half. Well, so here's what I thought of Dennis's sure. review. Uh, I said, this uh, this record was made in 1983. In 1983, while this band was making solid goth anthems, child Dennis was going into around <laughs> supermarkets with his mom and stealing handfuls of juice from the deli pickle buckets. <laughs> Let true. the record speak he, he for itself. He was it. doing that. <laughs> hey, Dennis, do you own stock in flannel? <laughs> If you scan the thumbnails of the irrelevant and illiterate podcast videos, it looks like Dennis's wealthy lesbian great aunt, Sandra Picnic, the inventor of the picnic blanket, who passed of an untimely autoerotic jet ski accident, left Dennis her private reserve of flannel to her great nephew. Why don't you stop coasting off your great aunt's coattails and critiquing people's art and do something actually productive, like helping me figure out why Lauren Michaels talks so weird. (laughs) <laughs> Incidentally, also 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> That's a, a totally fair assessment of the homework. I couldn't have said it better myself, yeah. so I let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> now, be- ahead of time, I tried to share with you guys what I was going to be doing for homework also, so we could like talk about it, but I know it's a lot. I was assigned seven comedy specials that are all between like nine and nine and 11 minutes long. Never called... forget. <laughs> I just did before you said that I completely forgot about that reference. They're uh, don't tell specials on YouTube and I'll start. Uh, I'll try not to get too lengthy, but the first one he assigned me was Opie. Oluk Bayou. I, I guess is his name. He's an African dude. I said through and through brilliant material. Uh, though, uh, I, if I was there, I would have been ruffling on the floor, my LMAO off. Uh, I hope he gets a lot of road work from this cause I never heard of him before. I gave that special a fucking nine out of 10. Did you get to watch any of these times? Yeah, I watched a few of those. Uh, the one that sticks out, I, Reggie, I believe was that one of those? Reg, Reg or Thomas. Reg, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go, stuff. I'll jump down to him. Uh, the notorious B I G said, you look so good. I suck on your daddy's dick bars. <laughs> I, I I also don't like being asked three questions in a row by strangers at CVS. God forbid something happens to my girl. I'm gonna be in court like your honor. My wife ain't going <laughs> ain't going <laughs> ain't ain't die going down some stairs. She died going up some stairs. Like Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> old stuff start happening to me. Like I be falling and shit. 
<laughs> Y'all laughing? I fall. <laughs> he said that to the, the perfect mm-hmm. the the massage bait. You want me to make? <laughs> you want me to be, to make banana cry? <laughs> <laughs> and his hands were so rough that yeah. joke that joke bumped it up to a seven tom i would love to watch if you just read like the transcript of like def jam comics like oh, just man. just just read like harlem material just like that <laughs> i could do a whole show of that what the oh fuck what oh shit oh um, i've never been more deer in the headlights than i am right now Bernie Mac at Def Jam. Yeah, he was there. Yeah, the 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 one where he's wearing the pants with his face on it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I I forget the bit though. Oh, I, I have to come back to it. The also there was also Dan Bolger. Let's see. Nice last what name. Was the last name? Bolger. B o b o u l g e r. Nice. Diabetes, pizza into presidents, shutting down the suggestion from the audience guy. Solid seven out of ten. <laughs> Uh, Emma Wilman, she said uh, her opening joke, she had a striped sweater sweater on, like black and white. She said, I look like I should be going to gay jail, <laughs> which got me. Very good material. I can't wait to see her on podcasts again. And uh, the ADD junk bumped it to an 8 out of 10 for me. Sean, uh, Sean Donnelly, uh, OG ADD. I felt that on a personal level. Some of the premises sounded very familiar, but his material stood on its own. And uh, even his like yelling, screaming guy style like worked for me. Like when when comics deliver a punchline, they start doing that yelling, screaming yeah, shit. Yeah. Sometimes I'm immediately like, is this what you're doing? It's like not actually a good enough written joke that right. you have to yell it. They have to be zany and scream yeah. it. But I thought his was like really funny. So I gave him a seven. Z- uh, Zaid Devji. The, uh, the the name uh, premise ever you ever met a G off a Jeff who spells it G off they always tell you right away it's G off I don't care kill yourself <laughs> uh, attacking white people's doesn't make me racist attacking white people makes me a pretty good Muslim <laughs> and uh, he had a great chunk about God at the end I gave it an eight and a half out of ten let's see I think that's all one two. No, he also gave me Katie Hughes. Uh, I said, she looks like Greg Opie Hughes. I was expecting lowbrow stoner material, but the opening joke turned me around immediately at the end of it. Uh, Was actually true for the rest of the set. The golden retriever joke. (laughs) This is Lula. She was $8,000 plus $10,000 to get all those rocks out of her stomach. She's so hungry. (laughs) Then followed by the dog park joke. The only way to get somebody to stop talking to you at a dog park is to die. <laughs> I said it was very fucking good. Eight and a half out of ten. I thought she was really fucking funny. When you when you take Elliot, do, do you take Elliot out for walks or are you just just often? Let, yeah. yeah. Do you do you get caught up in the in the like dog owners have, having to have obligatory small talk with each other? Not. In this area, actually, like mm. people actually, like mm. people really keep to themselves in this area. They're not very neighborly mm. around around here specifically. Like if I if I walk him out there and then down and back and back, I will never be looked at or spoken to. Oh, but even like if I go to Tweed Park, where it has it has like a legit walking path, sometimes I'll run with him, like with my full on like running shoes and shit, and sometimes I'll just walk him, but. I've never heard a person utter a word to him, but mm. at the dog park, it's totally different. Oh yeah. Do you, do you just have dogs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have one. I yeah. used to go to the dog park and it was just like, I'm there for the dog, but now I'm also here to have a whole fucking conversation. Yeah. So. See, that's, you have, you have to be like somewhat polite to a complete stranger. I wouldn't even remember their names. I just remember the dog's name. I, I, I'm like, there's pirate. Right. Oh, I couldn't tell you a single dog owner's name, but I know I offhand when when he was growing up, I took him to the dog park every almost every single day to like socialize him and shit. And I he had like five dog best friends. I remember his his best one was Mickey, this huge Rottweiler. And like the polarity of them two together was hilarious to me, but I talked to their owner, or I talked to Mickey's owners like all the time. Never once got his name. Mm. 
Never once. That's I I live in an apartment. I don't have a dog, but I babysit uh, my fiance's sister's dog uh, often. So I'll take him out. And then, you know, you have to have that awkward conversation and, and people are like, oh, is he friendly? And in my head, I'm just like, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> One, I have no idea. I don't And then know. also, I, I, I don't know. I just, I'd make things up. Like I've been saying like, he's friendly. Lying. He's just so, he's just Your so. Your dog just sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, he's friendly and he's so horny all the time. <laughs> so the people will not talk to you if you tell them that you have a horny dog. I like b- being like he's really friendly to dogs who have gay owners. <laughs> like wow. So you should be he fine. really li- he really likes you. It's yeah. weird. Oh, it's weird. He's never yeah. Come on, Stonewall. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but no, like p- the polite dog like that polite dog park chunk of that like I really liked uh, that girl's special. What did any other ones stick out for you, Tyler? Just uh, Reg or? Uh, yeah, I, I actually I listened to the Chameleons album a little bit. Yeah. For some reason, though, that and then the Reggie or Reg dudes. That's the only one that really like sticks with me. Mm-hmm. What'd you think of the album? I thought Not it was bad? good. Yeah, I was gonna say like kind of definitely like gothy, like kind of a little bit Cure esque in some ways, but also. It did get a bit repetitive. It does tend to do yeah, that. Yeah, where it, like you said, like I hate greatest hits albums. I listen to shit like start to finish, but you know that might have been a good good thing for him. There's there's one thing about like repetitive ass songs like that formula mm-hmm. is going by the wayside. I'm kind of here for it. Yeah, like I think mu- musical ADD, especially in like. And like punk and hardcore is starting, well, not starting to, but like pop song, like the biggest songs are very short. Like all the factually, the biggest songs in the world are TikTok songs that are 50 seconds long. Mm. They have a, they have a hook, maybe a bridge and then the hook again, maybe. And then it's over. Yeah. And, and can you twerk over it? I think is an important part. Of me. <laughs> that's, that's why every that's try to important part for me. Every piece of music that I write going forward is, is twerk friendly. If I'm not shaking ass. Forget yeah, about you're it. You're dying. Dude. Oh god. You taking the pants off there, Tom? What's no, going I'm, on? I'm unbuttoning the top button. Oh, I see. Because that fucking Tony's that I had earlier is hitting me hard. Mm. I had three slices with fries on top. Did did the pizza come with fries on top of it or did you I, MacGyver that shit? I'm MacGy- I always do that. That's... You get the french fries, you get the pizza, you put the french fries on top of the pizza. There That's you go. pretty good. I agree with That's that. That's an American shit there. rules. Yeah. I used to like getting pizza down at like the boardwalk because it would have French fries on it. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a cool, that's a freaky pie. Some late night cheese fry pizza. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's some that's some boardwalk shit. Nice. Saves me the work. Now, did uh, have you guys personally been bumping any music that you would like us to check out on the pod or show the listeners? Sure. Any, uh, I mean, I brought of note. I mentioned I'd bring a couple albums. Fuck yeah. I, they're not new shit, obviously. I don't, Doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'm, I love nerding about this shit to like Danny and he doesn't have the attention for it, so. <laughs> well, but guess what? I brought my favorite you could have imagined. Fucking knew it. You knew it. Anyway. Is it Rush? Dude, I fucking, it's my favorite band. I'm I'm really big into prog rock. You can oh, say what you want okay. about. Uh, maybe you guys aren't, but specifically I brought a Farewell to Kings. Again, one of their, their better known ones. Uh. But specifically, I would recommend checking out the last song on the album. It's called Cygnus X1. I know Cygnus. Fuck yeah. Book one, uh, The Voyage. And then you might want to continue into their like synthesizers and started gearing into like their 80s stuff. I'm big in the 70s stuff. So like I really like you like the real experimental. Shit. You like, like a King Crimson guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can tell. Fuck yeah. So. But. Anyway. Nice. If you want, check those out and just, you know, have the lyrics up. It's uh, just a nice story. You know, just have your headphones sit there. I can I can picture Dennis right now sitting very still, <laughs> listening to it. <laughs> Maybe I came to the wrong room for this. <laughs> I don't think so. You said you have ADD. He's got ADHD. No, I do. He, yeah. he is very good. Oh, you can sit down and... Dennis. Oh, oh Dennis. Okay. Dennis. I'm, I'm thinking of you. No, okay. No, no. Okay. No, De- Dennis. Like, what? The whole point of the homework segment is because, like, 
if Dennis always says, if, if five people tell me that something is really good, I'll check it out. But if 30 people tell me it's really good, I'll never listen to it. Mm-hmm. So the point of this, like us, like bouncing stuff off of each other to check out. And then we, we, we review it the following week is to hopefully f- a, a person, a person who listens to the show be like, all right, I'll check it out. Mm-hmm. If they, if they think the show, if they like this show at all, maybe they'll give it an honest shake. So I like exposing at exposing people to shit that they've never heard before. And f- I've found a ton of shit myself Sure. through it. So is that, is that all? That's the one thing you uh, brought was uh, the rush thing. Yeah. Probably the best to share. Yeah. Okay. You can't see it, but he has a gun in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's pointing a nine eleven, a nineteen a 1911 <laughs> under the table at us. Nine eleven. I keep going back. I can't that's stop, crazy. dude. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What do I want to give to you guys and to the listeners this week? Um, I'll give you, um, because I have to see him very soon, I'm going to just assign two records instead of a record and a special this week. I think this one I'll, I'll leave out, but Dennis specifically said he has never given the cult a fair shake. And I was like, that's insane to me, given the the music that he likes. Like, he's like a very, like, riff-based rock. Like, he loves Clutch. I just watched... And, like, bands like that. I just watched a live session of The Cult today. Fucking rules, right? Yep, Billy Duffy's an incredible guitarist. So, the album I have is called Sonic Temple. Mm -hmm. By The Cult. And then I have a... On the on the other side of the spectrum, I have a death metal record to give to him or to give to everybody. Really, the band's called Incinerated, and the album is called Lobotomize. Hmm. And I did not know I was I was that many years old when I learned that Lobotomize is spelled with an S. Really? Mm-hmm. It is not a Z. It is an S. I think that maybe it's not. Maybe they're Euro. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You might be onto something. I think there, the Tyler. Z thing's a, an American thing, is it not? Oh, possibly. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna look it up right now. Incinerate. Oh, I got it right the first time. Incinerated band. They are death, brutal death metal grindcore. Wow, it is from 2017, and they are from Australia. Hmm. There you go. Euro enough. Lobotomize. Another point. <laughs> yeah. Lobotomize. Well, that'll bring you up to first, first place. You already won the game, so. All right, it's not a contest. No. What do you think? Good episode? I'm, I'm, I'm Dennis. You don't? <laughs> nice. Well, you know where we'll be. Guys, thank you so much for coming on here. I know we had to move the episode around a bunch of times. And this is not, like I said, this is not the most formal thing in the world, but like... I enjoyed it. Yeah. So thanks, thanks for, for thanks for taking the time and, and braving this storm. What's what's here. the uh, uh, what's the pizza parlor called again? Stone Mill Pizza. Stone Mill Pizza. And where can we find it? Hocus in Delaware. Now, what's nice. your website? StoneMillPizza.com. Uh, StoneMillPizza.com. Stone Mill. And the Instagram, same thing. Stone Mill Pizza. Nice. Instagram at Stone Mill Pizza. StoneMillPizza.com. If you're ever in Hocus and come get a good pie, I swear to you, they're fucking fantastic. And uh, I'll hit the intro music. I didn't know that was Haley Williams, actually. I lo- yeah, I love Haley Williams, dude. I would literally let her piss in a super soaker and squirt me in the face of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Literally let her fart into a fucking poop into a jet turbine. <laughs> 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 让失去的代词拥有